Pictures, yes, pictures, pictures. 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 When someone they're like, dude, are you feeling bad about your friend? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not! I'm not! And anybody who else lost their money to lost their homes, like, and you know what? Lost a family member. No. Good! Bro. Yeah! Bro. Why don't you start now and then we could do it? I'll start this podcast whenever I goddamn please. <laughs> we have three guests waiting, bro. <laughs> if it was one, then I'll be like, okay, you take your time. <laughs> Why don't you do it? Oof. Oh. Uh, what's up, guys? I'd like to take your time to shout out my channel. It's George Janko. Uh, <laughs> check it out. I do cool vlogs. I'm actually walking away from YouTube soon, so don't even do it. Just fuck it. Unsubscribe if you're actually George, subscribed to me. welcome us to the show, please. Oh, hey. Um, welcome back to Impulsive, the number one episode in the world. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Are you? Are you kidding me? No, I, I, no are you done? I, yeah, you're, that's a... <laughs> I, got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, welcome back, guy. Uh, f I <laughs> Can I defend George before you even say it? Please. We are on the other side of the world. Mm. We did land last night. For us, it's 3 a.m. That's my guy right there. Yep. That's the reason he's f***ing up. Welcome back to Impulsive, ladies and gentlemen. The number one podcast in the world. Thank you so much for listening, subscribing. I always f*** this one up, commenting. We are here with the Side men. Well, yeah. three of them at least. Yeah. Long time coming. It's a, it's, it's a big deal. For those who do not know the side men, tune in. First off, this, you guys are a part of probably the biggest group, definitely the biggest internet group. Uh, in like, yeah. in sync, bro. Or like, no, no, uh, no. Dude, Backstreet Boys? Dude, perfect. Dude, perfect. Yeah. They're from like Arkansas, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but we're from London. Like, it's very niche. It's very niche. But Amer American groups are just huge. No, but it's not. It's not niche. London's niche, but you guys have surpassed that. Is what I'm saying. Your your your, your channel, the Sidemen. Yeah. Mm. Has uh, how many subscribers? Over 10 million. Well, we, yeah, we want 15, right? We, we're we have 15. We have. We have well, 15. I want 20. That's what I said that I want 20. I want 20 M's. You're gonna get it too. I mean, dude, every video you guys put out. And the concepts are incredible. You guys are incredible. But every video you put out gets millions and millions and millions, millions and millions of views. Can I say what I did? Mm. Mm. Yeah, go for it. They had me do a video. Okay. It was called 20 versus 1. <laughs> <laughs> they sent 20 women Yeah. versus Stop. one guy, me. <laughs> and then they would prompt me with, like, fucked up shit to say on, on the dates. Yeah. I'm gonna get canceled. Nah, no, no, you'll no, be no, alright. No. You'll be fine. You'll, you'll be, be alright, man. Well, you've bounced back before, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's not. Bad. But uh, uh, the 20 versus one videos average what, like 20 million views? I, I uh, hope so. I hope yours. No, I'm should. hoping yours does that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we turn me down a little bit? I'm going deaf in both ears. <laughs> so so loud. So much energy. We Thank took you fishing. You guys fishing. Yeah. And we that got. Was so fun. That was a ton of fun. We got 30 something million views on a. That's on 30 million now. On fishing, That's so crazy. like, well, it, it has thirty. It, it was on twenty nine last time I looked or something like that. So this is what I mean. If we can just, and it was shit fishing, by the way. Shit fishing. Yeah, well, hold on, yeah, hold on. Really whoa, whoa, whoa! First time ever going fishing. First, uh, and I caught a shark. You did, yeah. But you, they, you, like, don't belittle <laughs> that. Okay, but we kept catching shit <laughs> sharks. <laughs> I think KSI was cheating, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was dumping fish in and then pretending to take it out. Yeah. Man, that sounded like a lot of fun, guys. You having fun? <laughs> I, 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 I just, I just want to give a little more context because some of our viewers are yelling at me mm. as the host because I don't give enough context in some of these podcasts. Oh. So, okay. Let's go. Ethan, Toby, Simon. Simon. Yeah. And, and, and it's interesting because although we introduce you guys as a group, you're also very big entities solo, mm. which is what the sidemen is and why it's so special because there's there's how many sidemen are there total seven seven, seven total so there's four more um, and th they all from my understanding made internet content for you know like the rest of us your whole freaking life Basically. you you kind of you know caught some success online then came together as this group of UK dudes mm -hmm. or I'm assuming at this point kind of like brothers like in a weird way mm -hmm. yeah I think we worked out yeah uh, was it yesterday or the day before like we've known each other now for. Probably like 12, 11 years. 11, like 12 years. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. It is nuts because I think, especially, I'm 26, right? So I started like knowing these guys when I'm growing up and now I'm a full blown adult. So it's nuts to think, yeah, these with your friends for life now. And we met through just making content. Yep. Yep. And, 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 and there's been many trials and tribulations, a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> the first time I heard of the Sidemen was the diss track period. Oh, yep. Right. Yeah. The diss track. You oh, shouted yeah. me out in your diss track. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. on, you know? You, what did you say? You, what did you say? You were like, uh... I said you're my dad, I think. Bro, am no, I, wait, am I your dad? <laughs> yes, that was it. That was it. Were you my dad or was Jake my dad? Jake was your dad. Jake was my dad. Was, was Jake your dad? 
I think I think you should Jake Paul is my dad, low gang for life or something. That's something like that. Yeah, yeah, he knows it. Low gang. Yeah, he acts like what you say. He knows exactly. He knows all the lyrics. So I I I know the lyrics. Do you mind if I recite them? Please no. No, I I I. I, I got invested. I'm like, mm. what's going on with that side, man? What is this? Are they beefing? Was it real? And, and that was the first time I, I heard. You know, it's funny mm. how drama can, you know, bring people ins- together. Yeah. <laughs> so odd. <laughs> so odd. But w- those diss tracks, when y- were you guys breaking up as a group? Were they nah, real? So JJ went to LA yeah. and just randomly said, oh, I'm leaving the side, man. <laughs> yeah. And then made a diss track. Uh, no, then bro, blamed it on you. Bro, I'm. I'm I wake up in bed and I get a nudge <laughs> from my I, I get a nudge from my ex-girlfriend and says, oh, have you seen what JJ's done? <laughs> I said, what the fuck? No, I haven't seen it. I wake up, he's saying, yeah, I'm going to fuck you, missus. Uh, you're a fat fuck, I'm leaving because of you. But that's nothing new to you. You said no, that to you all the time. I know he did. I know, but I'm, I'm just sleeping innocently. I think the group's going, well, we're having a great time, but no. Um, I think he was doing it to just, I don't know, probably be excited. I think he was bored. Because I think we, bored. we hit like a, a, a big plateau with like what we were doing. It was the same sort of shit in and out. So spiced it up and it worked. Wait, wait hold on. That wasn't... It wasn't planned. Plan. It wasn't planned. He had no but, idea, bro. But it, I made the first reply diss track in 24 hours with Calux downstairs. We used to live in the same building. I said, Calux, brother, we got to do something. It's go time. We got to do something. Yeah. I said, because he's, he's got a production studio, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of his friends called Ben at the time. So I said, we make a song, we shoot a music video tonight to upload tomorrow. <laughs> and that's what. <laughs> but what. But what was the vibe like? Did you call him like after? No. The so- like, just, but were you really I just like, made the song. Like, like, I just made the song <laughs> and uh, see what happens. It kind of just spiraled as well. Yeah, yeah. Like your one was kind of like friendly, but a bit of shots. Yeah. And yeah. then. By the end, Harry's was, uh, <laughs> Harry took it to a different level. So, so yeah. H- Harry's, mm. which by the way, I'm full. I'm sure we could do a full debrief on this Harry character. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude, dude, I talked to him about it so much, yeah, bro. Yeah. I, to me, it, it, he is an enigma yes. who, who lives in the shadow realm. <laughs> like, bro, I hear about it. Like, dude, I, I'm always like, dude, I really would love to just get like two to three minutes mm. with this guy. And it seems like it's the not fans, enough. it's not enough. No, you need more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it seems like the fans kind of have the same idea. Of yeah, they're just yeah. like, what? What is this guy's deal? <laughs> what is his deal? It's what? taken this many years to sort of unpack what he is. Uh, and we I still think, don't know. Yeah, we still don't really know. But <laughs> even just watching him, just observing him, just through day to day life, is one of them things where like you would just giggle, like we tap each other, just fucking watching him is great. I lo- I love people like that. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, Jake's like that. Yeah. I could just watch it. He's absurd as a human. But he's a, out there. Pain. He's out there to an extent. It's like even with the fans, like there's always these like rumblings of like jokes around like. He did too much K yesterday. Like, I never know, like, what's serious and, like, what's not. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, like, All exactly. Yeah. But, but his, his diss track against mm. uh, uh, KSI was a, a harsh. Mm. And it was that, was, that was when I think I was beefing with KSI as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, perfect. Even his own boys are turning on him. Right? <laughs> and I even By used- the way, full sincerity, he's sitting by the laptop. He's like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, you tra- I was trying to uh, 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 attack from the inside out. And so I appreciated the damage that y'all were Because <laughs> Harry made, it, Harry made a, a, a line about like STDs or something. Yeah. I said, that's it. That's the man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm running with it, you know. And, and who knows, you know, because com- chlamydia is easy to cure with one pill. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's neither, you know. This guy's popping <laughs> pills like Whitney Houston because of it. No, that's neither here we, nor there. But he's he, we did need that. We needed that yeah. division between you guys because you guys are a fucking army of friends. And I remember the whole time that we were... I don't even know how to start this shit. There's so much history here and mm. so much stuff to talk about. But I remember the whole time when he was beefing with JJ before every fight... You know, I'm trying to be an American <laughs> sideman, but there's not enough of us, bro. Like, it was like me, him, and George, like a rinky-dink little unit compared to this fucking <laughs> army of sidemen. We'd, like, we'd see you guys backstage at these events, yeah. and it was always very, like, tense. hostile yeah, and yeah, tense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I ever feel hostile and tense? Yeah. No, it, it was. was, one, it yes. was one where we like, I walked truly past each other. Not you were, once. I, what not do you mean, once. give a fuck? You were jumping on stage, <laughs> getting in motherfuckers' faces. I shit. never give a fuck at all, but he swung at my boy at an interval time, bro. I'm gonna swing back. Because this is what, okay, to back up, I love Jesus. I don't want to fuck anybody. <laughs> but this is what Logan Amen. did. He grabbed me and goes, listen, they're gonna fuck with me, all right? You gotta have my back. So I go, there's too many of you I guys. Bet, I got you. So I did, and that's what, I, but I didn't want to do it. <laughs> Logan made me do it. Yeah. yeah. 
Dude, he he actually beats us too. Like he does. Uh, it's not like the um, we're not the side man. It's not equal. Uh, he here, gave right? you that look that my mom gave yeah. me. That one, like, oh, you're getting, uh, yeah. Sorry. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to wear headphones. <laughs> I'm 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 impressed. I'm impressed with with very impressed with what you guys have been able to accomplish individually and as a group. I will say, I think I'm more impressed with what you've been able to accomplish as a group. Mm. It's really hard to stay 100%. that tight yeah. for this long. Even when we shot the other day and I saw the production and and how just patient you guys have to be and understanding and believing in what you're building. Cause it's hard to sit in a fucking hot back room and watch other people make content and commentate. For so hard. For oh, man. So hard. Bro. Do you know what though? That's one of my, I said this, before. we can, right. we can make formats now, which is great. Yep. I like formats. Yep. Formats are the new shit. Like getting people on Tinders or 20 versus ones. Cause it's just amazing for us. Yeah. Yeah. We, like we, we come up with the idea and then we can tell you to do dumb shit. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just sweating. That's all I'm doing. I'm just sweating. <laughs> the room was hot. Yeah. That's what was hard. So yeah. Somebody else was sweating besides yeah. Yeah. me. Someone was sweating. <laughs> Brother. You, you, so do you think that sidemen work is not, is, is like an easier part of your life? Um, some depends are. on the video. Yeah, has, some Something are. like that is very easy. Like, ultimately, we've just put you in a room and made you do all the work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart. Straight off a flight as well, brother. Yeah. I said this. I can't believe you did that. At, by the end of it, I was like, that was that was way more than I expected. Mm. That was I was I was cooked. But yeah, that's what that's the name of the game. Mm. You know, it wasn't it wasn't that hard for me? The the I guess the difficulty would be like, so you do that what once a week? You mm -hmm. guys get together and, and shoot once or twice. Once or twice, yeah. yeah. But Depends then on the shoot as well. Sometimes it's like we have to go abroad, so it's like two three days. And then yeah. you, you also there's the there's the ability to balance the dynamic of the group. Right, like, is there is there a, a, any egos, a power trip? I'm sure it's split I think we equally. We kind of keep each other in check, really. Like, it's, yeah, there's so many different personalities that it all kind of balances out naturally. Mm. It's really weird to have seven people that all kind of we're all so different, but we all gel at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. like in the in the group chat, right? So like JJ's super impulsive. Like, like he will. <laughs> Whoa, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> but like, oh, if he if he has an idea or something, or he wants like an idea to go a certain way, it's like if it doesn't happen within the next hour, he's gonna throw his toys out the pram. But then you've got six other brains to sort of like digest it, unpack it, and figure out the best way to do it. Interesting. So I think it works. I think yeah, I think. Oh, it works. Yeah, there, and there has to be like a, a tremendous amount of humility on everyone's part to have a group of people stay together for that length of time as each individual goes through varying levels of success in their own career. Mm -hmm. Because you could have, you know, you could have people who, you know, have a tremendous amount of success at any given time and be like, yo, like in groups that aren't built out of friends that truly mm -hmm. love each other. Mm -hmm. And people say, you know what, like, I don't I'm have time for this shit yeah. right now. I'm, yeah. I got a fucking music career blowing up or I got workout stuff or I got <laughs> stream or, or whatever the fuck blowing up. So I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna show up this week. So yeah. clearly, you guys have a bond that that outlives a lot of these other groups. Where does that start? What is it? What is it all rooted in? I think we're just so organic. Yeah, we 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 are just friends, right? So a lot of YouTube groups will blow up. Say like three or four creators blow up, and they say, "I I think we should make a group or something like that." Uh, Whereas uh, us, it was sort of like Toby and Josh were already friends. Simon and JJ were already friends, but then we just played games together. That was it. And then one night said, "Hey, let's." fling on something to record it and it but we're, we're friends before business but now you'd be silly to pass up an opportunity to make it a brand so. yeah mm -hmm. that's smart yeah can i ask you something <laughs> are you trying to start or grow a business but don't know enough about marketing to do it yourself yes and you don't want to waste your money hiring a sketchy agency yes dude agency box is the world's first automated marketing tool that gives access to everything your business needs to grow serving over four thousand businesses Agency Box allows you to start or grow your business with world-class lead generation, web design, press, SEO, and more, all for less than the cost of a single freelancer or contractor. Plus, many people have created their own successful agencies just reselling their services. For more info, go to agencybox.com slash Logan and start building your empire today. That is agencybox.com slash Logan. Now back to the show. So that's and you guys are killing it from every angle. Crushing it. Every angle. Even merchandising. Like you got you got you got you got, you got side plus, eat sides. The vodka is 
I'll t- it's not inside. Oh, you <laughs> did. I got you. I got <laughs> something for you boys. I got something boys, for you boys. Right now? It's not each sides. It's a clear yeah, stuff. Man. Yeah. It's Everyone just, says it's each, just sides. What, what yeah, is it? Yeah, just, just sides. Sides? Yeah, yeah. But you can yeah. eat it. My pe- can, we, so, you can, yeah. can we get some glasses? He got yeah. so glasses. bad. He threw you. Let's go. <laughs> How many glasses. tweets we've had Dude, saying that? There's nowhere I feel more comfortable drinking at noon than London. Like, <laughs> like, like and no, and in Jordy's uh, studio. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. But this is the baby. This is the five times distilled. XIX vodka. You can take a look. I'd love to. I'd love to. Nice. Give it a little shove. Do you guys know any good mixers for that? Prime. Prime. <laughs> prime. <laughs> actually actually not, you know, actually bro, bro, prime, prime mixers, when we was in Vegas, right? I think I said to you, prime mixer is nice. Oh, it's nice. What would you eat after <laughs> you, uh, you get to... <laughs> it's like so every... You guys inside. have the whole day. No, bro, it's nice. And then one last... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I feel like if you drink, say, vodka, diet coke, vodka, diet coke, you, you can get gassy, you're burping, you're burping. That was just nice. I appreciate what you're saying because I cannot say what you're saying legally. Yes, Do you true. know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'll run it up. I did a video. T- <laughs> I, I, I done a video. I'm pumping the stock. I'm pumping the stock. I did a video turning it into cocktails, and that was fucking hot. I appreciate. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate all this. All the support that you guys have uh, have given uh, Prime, especially because I I know you're launching these brands uh, on your own separately, and, mm-hmm. and 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 JJ too has to. Do the balancing act, <laughs> yeah. which is, can imagine, a little obnoxious sometimes. But uh, yeah, why vodka? I'm, I'm so curious. We do so many drinking videos. Mm. We're kind of like, why not just make a, uh, like a drink so ourselves? Fair. And then we had to decide on one. And yeah. vodka was like, I think the easiest one. Right? I, so I love vodka. So yeah, it's a win you drank a lot of vodka on a fishing trip. I won't talk about you it. <laughs> <laughs> you were drinking it from a white water, <laughs> just a water bottle, bro. I got too drunk, dude. Dude, got- you were in the middle of the ocean, like, dude. I- I could swim back there. I go, dude, we could barely swim in your pool, bro. You're a rock. You no, sink. I, I sink. I sink. I suck. But I'll, I'll be honest. This surprised me a little bit just because the demo, I would assume, is mostly young people under the age of 21 or I would no? say because we've been going so long, what is it? Is our ninth year anniversary this year? Ninth year? This is nine. Yeah, okay. So it's our ninth year anniversary, right? So <clears throat> the people that were watching us when they was 13, 14 are now 20s and stuff like that. So those people that still know of us and watched us growing up, they had the age to go out during vodka, uni study and stuff like that. So the drinking age here is also 18. 18 yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. The difference. So, so like uni culture, uh, studying and stuff like that. Our biggest demographic is 18 to 25 yeah. as well. Yeah. And you see oh, that cool. with all the brands that are succeeding, like <clears throat> people build brands based on what their content authentically dictates. Mm-hmm. Like you guys are out there partying, you know, eating this kind of food, doing this type of thing. So it makes sense to just create products that, that support that. No, 100%. Yeah, no, Flink, Flink doesn't drink. Oh, neither do I. Nope. I felt so guilty. I was Simon, like, oh my God, Simon, you drink? He doesn't. He has you, a brand that he doesn't even drink. That's, I, I love that. Along, Logan's yeah. holding it down yeah. for the squad. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Simon Cheers. Vodka. Cheers, guys. Simon Vodka. Cheers. Let's go, baby. XIX, baby. Mad. Smooth, right? Wow. Smooth, right? I'm impressed. Smooth, right? I'm trying my hardest not to pull a face. No, you guys, you, guys, you guys did it. This is really good. Can I see the bottle? People make fun of me when I say I like vodka. You know that? No, I do think it's quite worrying. I think I think in a, in a world where you have so many nicer tasting spirits, uh-huh. it's quite worrying that you opt to love that. Well, it, I love it, dude. Tequila, like, I don't know. I fucking hate tequila. Okay, well, great. Over the <laughs> great. But do you like Sambuca? Fuck that shit, what, bro. What is that? He doesn't even you, know what it fuck is. Fuck that shit. You don't, feels a certain you don't know what Sambuca <laughs> is? Let's talk about it. It tastes like licorice. It's an aperitif. Licorice? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, but it's like yeah. sweeties. No one, no one No, no, but tell them what you like, did, bro. What, what, uh, we we have an alarm. <laughs> okay, we have something. <laughs> we have something called the Sambuca alarm, <laughs> and and we we have turned this into a um, quite worrying thing because the video of the alarm now has three hundred thousand views. So I think the Sambuca alarm has been used <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time. It sounds like that. Okay. Basically, I don't drink, so That's we did a video where I tried alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you like don't drink. Ever. I don't drink. I don't drink. I okay. Don't. Um, I made the amazing idea. Or amazing decision to let him and Harry um, be my guides into the world of drinking. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Harry, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it was so funny. They pulled me a shot. It was a fun It was a fun day, man. It was a fun day. They, they fucked me up with Sambuca with, with Ray, when the alarm go- nephews. Yeah, when the alarm goes off, you can't... There's no choice. Oh, that's how it worked. The yeah, alarm yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume you were sick the day after. 
On the train. On the train. On the train. On the train. I went running for a train and my stomach just went, no. Yeah. On the train. Just I like, think I still have the video. I think I still have the video. Yeah, keep talking about it. Not even the toilet. You didn't even make it for the toilet. Bro, I couldn't move. In the aisle. It was one of those. Brother. In the I was under under the table. He bro. was he was running for the train. Like he got on it just as it was about to close. We all sat in this carriage. We said, yeah, come through. He walks in and then he sort of like slumps on the chair. Before this, I'm there thinking, I'm a bit of a heavyweight, by the way. I feel fine. I'm all good. Run for the train. Oh. Me and Ari are tapping each other, going, I think you're throwing up. I think you're throwing up. And then you just see noodles on the floor. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the real yeah. stuff. The I real to stuff. Sober up with noodles. Fantastic. Oh, no, no. Uh, last time I drank was at my house. We were having everybody over and I don't drink ever, just like you. So mm. I don't know what my limits is. And also, I smoke. So in my mind, when you smoke, you kind of feel it right away. Mm. Yeah. I thought this is how like I should operate with drinking. So I took one. I'm like, oh, I'm sick. I don't feel I'm enough. taking another one. I'm sick. Bro, I just remember watching videos the next day of me in, in my bathtub throwing up, <laughs> bells shampooing my hair, <laughs> and all my friends are watching me bugging <laughs> in the, they're like, what happened to this guy? And I think I... I think it took like six shots max. <laughs> I don't know. I I can't. And ever since then, if I even smell vodka or anything like that, I just have PTSD. And so I that's so that's what happens with me and tequila. Like I had a couple bad experiences with tequila, which is why I have a problem with it now because I have PTSD when I taste or smell it. I'm like, it brings me back to that time that I was, you know, throwing up in a van next to a ten, mm. which happened. Uh, what is yo, you have it? In the video, bro. <laughs> oh, man. That's the picture. Man. <laughs> That's the picture. Oh, man. Then, we'll get it up on the screen. Yeah. What were you eating before? Oh, bro, I think I tried to have like Chinese or something to just yeah, it's funny, set though. on my stomach. But... You guys are wild with all the drugs and alcohol. I could never imagine. I, that, <laughs> listen, paracetamol, brother. Paracetamol. <laughs> Sorry, this is the part of the where he's gonna talk about his book, try to oh, get yeah, nice. her up. <laughs> nice. I'm what, not really not. <laughs> what's um what's up with the women in the UK? Like why would two fuck Mike at the same time? Uh he's Mike. Big Mike. Let's he's, go. He's, he is Mike. Uh it's probably the is that enough, and, though? and from the location you was at. <laughs> I can only imagine. Hey. I can only imagine. Over a couple of tape girls. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, so, so talk to me about this. He went, he went out to a club. Okay, so uh, called, called tape. Did, you, did you do the bottle thing and the stuff? Did you have fun? No, I, I, like, hey. I mean, we went there. They they were nice enough to hook us up with the table. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and it, it actually was these girls that... You know, I, I like to do uh, forward-facing reconnaissance before I land. Mike, you know were they, what Mike, were they <laughs> table hoes? Yes or no? No, no, they weren't. I would have been happy if that were the case. Okay. But, no, but they were, uh, it was, it was you know, pre-programmed. This is DM, oh, okay. some DM stuff on the front end. I'll do a little prep work okay. before I land in the country. Forward-facing right. reconnaissance. Yeah, forward-facing forward reconnaissance. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, you're, the, the British girls are, um, they're very forward. Yeah, they're, huh? They're, they're, no, uh, what, what? I missed out on it, 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 Really? It depends which one. Got it, got it. depends it. which one. Maybe the, maybe the British girls at, at tape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is but, that better? But were they get... from like London or were they from, do they have like different accents or what? Did they travel for you? See, I would never be able to tell you that. Okay. I would never be able to tell you what their accent, I mean, we don't, we could not tell Put your hand words. down. This man is a tape connoisseur. He's a, I'm he's not a tape it. legend. I'm a lips guy, I'm a what, lips guy. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Why? He's a Mayfair legend, let's just say that. He's a Mayfair legend. Any club. Any girl. If you want to go right now, he... He's got it. No way, without drinking. Without yeah, drink. I got bro, it without drinking. It doesn't make sense. No, hold on a second. Are you, are you more... macking on girls hmm? regularly? Are you macking on girls? I can't speak. I like that. <laughs> 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 we have to clip Oh, yeah. That. We have to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't drink, man. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> I need to remember it all. No, he probably executes better without it too. You're probably smoother. You don't you don't start getting tipsy. You don't start slurring your words. You're just delivering fucking hit after hit after hit. You got confidence. You don't miss. That's hit. what I'm saying. No, but no, but I think people don't realize how much of that goes back yeah. to keeping that 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 right state of mind throughout the course mm. of the night. I mean, see, but no, that's just me. Some people operate better with alcohol. One hundred percent. Yeah, uh, I, and I, you I, you know for sure you don't. I don't want. You're, you're saying you know that for sure you operate better without you alcohol. You saw what he does when he has alcohol, bro. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Yeah, when his friends, you know, force feed him some, 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 some boot and some licorice, some licorice some alcohol. Some booker. Ray and nephews, bro. That was what fucked yeah, me up. was yeah. that 60%. Ray and nephews is like overproofed rum, right? You could probably use it to strip paint on the walls. Come on. Uh, oh, it's me like, up, it's like, come on. Crazy. You're, yeah. you're up against the ropes to begin with. Yeah. But, but okay, for me, little alcohol. Slightly tipsy, I'm activated. 
My brain's on. I got that confidence, yeah. right? Liquid confidence, basically. Liquid courage. Mm. You just you just have it. Yeah. You just but, go up to talk to girls like you, I didn't even no go big up deal. to girls, bro. But you I know, don't girls come to you. Jeez. Don't, Let's nah, go. Don't, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, goes, he goes, bro, I don't go up to them. They go up to me. I dude, say that. dude, I can relate. They do that to me all. You didn't even mean it like that. Yeah, you know they I mean. do that to you. So that's when what you they do to me. When you don't give them attention to that, bro, why am I not getting attention? 100%. They, they gravitate towards you. Toby runs on vibes. That's what Toby runs on. Oh, I, I, I think it's, it's attractive. I would, if I was a female and I saw a guy just having a good time with his homies, I'd probably be like, damn. Always smiling, positive. Yeah, so you would smash him if you were a girl? I'd, oh, 100%. 100%, 100%, bro. 100%. He gets well, me bricked up in the club. Guys, guys, <laughs> well, people need, to, people need to understand that. That that high energy, that fucking positive vibe, that smile. Yeah, like yeah. That good, dude, No, nobody wants to be around a Debbie Downer. Nobody mm. wants to be around somebody that's that's not having a good time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So if you deliver that, then of course it's going to... But I'm shocked by you too. saying that uh, British girls are forward because we don't get that. We would say they are stush. Really? Stush. Some, we, call it stush. we call it prude. Yeah, some yes, some Mayfair women are stush. What is what stush is stush means? Is that that they back. they hold themselves on this pedestal, and you're getting nowhere near the pedestal. Ah, oh. ready for this? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're Americans. When you go to yeah, fuck yeah. This, when you go to Vegas, you're not wrong, Or you go to L. A. Yeah. They're like, yo, that accent is hot. Fast. They melt in yeah. your hands. Yes, yes. Hey, they they melt on your hands. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> on your hands, sir. <laughs> huh? Hey there, impulsive viewer. This is not your typical ad. It's uh. Not quite an ad, but it's a it's a reminder that I am listing my one of one PSA ten Pikachu Illustrator on Liquid Marketplace. So Liquid Marketplace is the platform that I co-founded that fractionalizes ownership of top tier assets. So instead of me being the only person in the world who owns this card, we as a collective can own it together. That was really exciting to me in the business side of my brain. Like the idea of blowing up a platform that I co-founded and believe in. I will be listing it for five million dollars instead of the five point three that I bought it for. So I'll be giving you guys a $300,000 discount, which I think is nice because everyone likes discounts. Um, so yeah, liquidmarketplace.io if you want to buy in. It can be a small percentage, a fraction if you want, or a, a little more if you believe in the card like I do, because I will be retaining 49% ownership of the card. It's one of the features we have for people who list their assets and their items on our site. The sellers can retain uh, a, a percentage under 50. So I'll be retaining 49% of the card and allowing 51% of it to be bought by the users on Liquid Marketplace. So liquidmarketplace.io to buy in, to co-own the only one of one PSA 10 Pikachu Illustrator in the world. Thank you guys. Now back to the show. One question I have now, because the, the, one, the weird dynamic is we have this conversation, but you have a girl, right? <laughs> you have a girl. Yep. Does it make this kind of like you? He's got a kid on the way. I got a child I coming. I can't believe that. Oh, congrats. Yeah. Congrats. 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 Dude, actually? Yeah, October. Amazing. Dude, congrats. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. You're going to be a fucking dad. I'm going to be a fucking At 26? Uh, 27. I'm 27 in five days. Oh, cool. Happy cool. birthday. Yeah, also, we've talked about this. I don't know why I was like, oh, congrats. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> we <might. True>. we <laughs> spoke <laughs> about it already. Yeah, yeah. We spoke already, man. Whoa. No, that's, that's awesome. First time meant to have a kid? Yes. Yeah, yeah. One of our other friends is having a kid, and it's. It, should have come out yesterday, no? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it should have come out yesterday. Let me ask you something. Yes. Are you going to make content with that kid online as a creator? I I don't think I'll use it for video ideas. I don't think I'll use it for video ideas, but I think... <laughs> how, how much, much can my baby so, drink? Basically, right? <laughs> the, no, he meant, no, he meant he was delivering the concept. Yeah, the yeah. He's not <laughs> using it as for video ideas. You know what? I, I sort of... I come to the conclusion with my other half. I, I sort of... We're at a stage where everyone cares so much about what you're doing, right? That the more you try and hide it, the more of a hassle it is every day. Day-to-day mm -hmm. -day basis, you're sat there like, fuck, I need to hide this, I need to hide this. It's just so much hassle. So I'm not against like, it, you'll see it, it'll be out. Yeah. But she. I, I don't want to constantly hide shit away, man. I'm just me, I'm existing. You're watching it. Cool. Yeah. It changes your life, cool. dude. Trust um, me. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I just had one myself. Yeah. Do you know the gender? <laughs> <laughs> I do know the gender, man. I'm having a little girl. Oh, man. Oh, Congrats, little, girl, man. little girl, man. Are you nervous about that? I'm excited. Okay, cool. I'm excited. Uh, I, I was saying to the boys and a couple of other my friends, I quite like the idea of a girl first. Rather, I know like the cliche is having like an older brother, right? Yeah. But I kind of think, an older sister, they take care of like the other siblings really well. They do. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm, um, and also, I think it's a fucking breeze for the dad because girls like the dads more usually. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, and like, 16, I, already, uh, I already know I'm the shit. No, she'll hate the mum at 16. But, oh. No, I just mean that's when you start, you gotta start beating kids' asses that are coming over to yeah. try to come. Yeah, yeah. But, um, 
<laughs> no, man, I think, it's, I think I'm excited. Sick, dude. Congrats. Any names Sick. picked out? Sorry, I'm so interested. Dude, I don't know why. I, I'm, like <laughs> getting, I'm getting that, like, that vibe, bro. Like, I'm, I'm starting to look at like, my friends that like, go party, waste their lives. Mm. <laughs> and then, uh, and then I'm looking at my friends that are like getting like mm. shit situated, bro. And I'm like, fuck, like I have a, a beautiful girl, and I'm I'm yeah. starting to see that other side of me that's like, bro, you know, fuck me up. I was on Mexico. I was at Rocky Point. Have you guys ever been to Rocky Point? No. Mm. Well, Rocky Point is just like it's just full of college kids getting like really fucked up, and you know what I mean, fucked up, like really fucked up. And I could not get my eyes off of just this one family playing with their little kid. Mm. And I was like, fuck, like one, I feel weird just there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then two, I'm like, wow, I'm really more interested in that. And mm. I've, I've just saw, I'm, well, I'm very excited for you, man. Well, what, is gonna be thank cool. you very much, man. Uh, the one thing I, I sort of, I was saying to you boys the other day is like, I feel like I'm already a dad because like the way I think and go about my day now is completely different. And it, and it comes out in like three and a half, four months. So like, but because of, we're pretty much halfway through, over halfway through. You already sort of take on the role of, of like, you're, you're caring, preparing, you're, ca you're caring for the, yeah. for, your, for your lady. You're yeah. doing all this extra stuff, so like your mindset changes. So, yeah, hey, man. Have you been to a Lamas class yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. But she started doing uh, pregnancy yoga the other day, so that's a new thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, manager Jeff can tell you about all this stuff. He's yeah. got a, he's got a little. He got a brand new baby named Liv. Ah. He, put, he puts me on Facetime with her. Yep. And she's what. Oh, oh, it's her happy birthday! birthday. Oh. Do you do you feel some level of accomplishment when she makes it to like a the first like birthday? Like, <laughs> holy, Dude. like holy Dude. shit! I just kept a living human alive <laughs> two years. for two fucking yeah. years. Achievement unlocked. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is it, are you are you worried about the terrible twos? She's starting. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Off the top rope. She's she on Facetime with me. She, every time she sees my face, she goes. Logan. <laughs> like she recognizes me, we're there. Yeah. And occasionally I'll get a uh, jump off the top rope. Because <laughs> she saw my WrestleMania match where I jumped off the top no rope. Way. She likes it. She lo It's so fun. I love FaceTiming Liv. She's hilarious. Yeah. But there's this channel on YouTube. This is so weird. I'm having this conversation. Not even my fucking kid. <laughs> called, called Blippi. And she, it's like a kid's... Like, uh, imagine like a modern day Blue's Clues, but on YouTube. Okay. Like, you like internet creators. Yeah. And... If Blippi's on the TV, dude, you can't get a fucking ounce of this girl's attention. Not even he can. Yeah. Right? It's all she cares about. So your kid is going to have to watch Blippi. Yeah, Blippi. Well, no. yeah, yeah. Also, Peppa, Peppa the Pig. Peppa, Peppa, Peppa the Pig. Yeah, yeah. Dancing vegetables. What's, what, Dance, what's, what's that channel? Coco him. Melon. Coco Melon. Dancing Malachi. vegetables. Yeah. yeah Dan, Malachi, Dan, Malachi, dancing that. vegetables are a life hack. You got the little carrots doing this. On, yeah. Peppa, I think Peppa. Yeah. Peppa's, I think Peppa's Whatever you guys just did locked me in. I was like, what are we fucking doing? I think Peppa's the coolest, dude. Yeah, man. The only thing about Peppa is like... Door Explorer. They're... they're it's that's too old. Their their noses are on their snouts are on the, like the side of their face. The, the anatomy is odd. It's yeah, odd. Yeah. And, and by the way, they also live at the top of really steep hills. Like like their house. Their, their a pig hill can't do this. Will be like, no <laughs> a shot. Pig realistic. A you pig isn't an athlete. Still, so have, yeah, like, no, what the, yes. What's good, no, guys? So Why are you watching so when like, we're not hanging out? <laughs> so I have a nephew, baby Chase, and yeah. well, he's not a baby anymore. He's, I think he's turning four in August, which is crazy. Big Chase. Big Chase. Big Chase. And uh, he loves. He still loves Peppa the pig. And I and. You know, when you, as an adult, and this is one of the things that, like he said, I do like to party, but I have been, you know, mm. I'll play with the idea. I just bought a house in yeah, the yeah. last week, and so I'm starting to play Congrats. with the idea of all these, like, things, right, that can happen. Mm. And uh, it, it's so weird mm. because I'll sit there and watch the show with them, and I should be thinking, like, oh, uh, like, do I need to, like, feed this kid? And all I can think <laughs> is, like, damn, why do they live on such steep hills? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, you know, maybe I should just stay at the club. <laughs> you know there, there is a parent watching this right now who has the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, 100%. Bro, the, 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 but it is physically impossible for those yeah. pigs to drive a car <laughs> that isn't a Range Rover, a little car, a bubble car, up a mountain. Like, the side of a mountain, bro. Do you guys remember the Wiggles? No. Was the Wiggles? No, I, I did. Old, I, old, I remember. Old. Yeah, I, I don't know what the Wiggles hey, is. <laughs> no, no, he's 30. <laughs> no, I'm not. Aren't you? Almost. He's 29, yeah, 29, 29, right? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 29. Yeah, you're oh, you're the same age. I heard you say it the other day. You're like, dude, I'm almost about 30. Young in spirit. Uh, me and Logan yeah, the youngest yeah, in the room. You're young. You're, you're, you're young, dude. And it, you I'm, look the oldest, though. <laughs> and I don't mean that, that because you're like, you have wrinkles, you're no, like aging. No, you no I do. I, I, listen, I call myself a Sharpay dog. You know them fucking dogs that have like just so much extra face? <laughs> like, I, I'm weathered now. Like I look weathered. I look like... I, I, well, you've also... Dude, you've been through... I mean, 
not to go to a serious topic, but fuck <laughs> it, let's do it. You know, you've been through a lot. You've been through a ton of fucking shit. I remember when you put out that weight loss yep. journey and, and a lot of, and, a, and a, even more so, a more uh, holistic journey through your life. Yep. And and there's a reason why you were one of the first people that I became friends with out of the True. group. Bro. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I And it brings me back to a time when we weren't friends. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think mine and your interaction was kind of one of the first icebreakers. I'd say that. it's like a tree, isn't it? The seed it started, yeah, and then all of a sudden mm. there was a Mike and Ethan branch. Mm. Yeah. And then here we are today talking shit. Did you guys well, all feel it, this was going to happen? Because I always did. I don't know why. Um, yeah. We said this about... It was inevitable, right? I didn't say JJ, JJ about Logan you and him. Yeah. I, I said you that from the joke. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't say to JJ for the time that you two would be like we best used to, friends. During the build-up to the fights, right, we used to say like... You two, you two are the same people. Like you, you, you got, you exude the same shit, that right? So like, crazy. yeah, it was bound to happen. Hey, Hayden was saying it from my side. Mm. He, mm. He's like, yo, I, I've spoken with Jay. You guys are actually really like. You'd be him. friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, you, what you said, it almost felt inevitable. Yeah. And then I remember when he was talking to you actively. Mm. He's like, yo, this Ethan is actually pretty fucking dope. And then I checked in the weight. The weight yeah. loss thing was fucking Amazing. awesome. Thank dude. you, man. Amazing. Thank you. Dude, how, how, how many pounds do you lose? Oh, I don't know the conversion, right? But I lost 30 kilograms. It's probably 30, 31 uh, kilograms. Uh, see, if, see if I have it. It's like 66 you, pounds. Yeah, something like that. that. That's right. crazy. Yeah. You were over 220 pounds. Yes. And then and then what, what happened, dude? That you just started, you, a switch flipped. Well, it was a Nick Crompton thing initially. Nick Crompton, I was meant to fight on your Manchester card. Yeah. You, <laughs> Nick Crompton? Yeah. Yes, bro. <laughs> I, had, I have the contract. It's still in my emails. England is his city, bro. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> Wait, no, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I, wait, wait, what happened to that brother. guy? <laughs> what the fuck happened to that guy? He just went, gone. Like, but I you know what? Recently, I saw a thing with Keem. He's lost a lot of weight too. Yeah, and, he, and he's like, get the fight back on. Bro, and he's yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, fucking, I'm ready again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have the contract in my email still. I signed it all. I was ready to go. Whoa. But I think within like, within two months, I'd made like a, a major change, right? And I don't think he had. And I think it's because sort of, of the fight. Yeah, yeah. The fight was the catalyst for your. I was training off. with Vidal as well at the same time wow. JJ was and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, I was ready to go to Manchester. It fell through. But, and again, I'm a storyline person, right? So, it was, the reason I called him out is because I'm fat. He's fat, right? Let's, <laughs> let's go on a journey and let's see who's the better fat man. You know what I mean? So, but then when that fell through, people were like, oh, you're going to. And I was like, no, nah, man, because like, I don't really hate anyone. Like, I don't hate anyone. I'm more for storylines. So. And fell through. Yeah, but then you just stayed fit. And I carried on, yes. Yeah, yeah. I got came at Gym Shark, you know. Yeah, Gym Shark. Yeah. You're a lot exactly. happier once you started. 100%, man. 100%. And a, and a lot of the times, I remember there's one video we did with Jack Whitehall, right? UK comedian. Um, I'm sat there in these shorts, right? And I've got these thunder thighs that are just fucking mm. pouring out, man. <laughs> and I remember watching that video back and thinking, I, I can't watch myself. Like, like I want to uh, I want to be, I want to be present and enjoy it with my boys and think, yeah, I'm carefree or whatever. But I couldn't stop obsessing over like I look like shit like, uh, like this is horrific like, I feel sad uh, so I think yeah just you ran the London Marathon I run I that was funny because it was during COVID right so the London Marathon got cancelled they weren't doing the actual London route but they enabled you to on the day that it was supposed to be on run 26.2 miles wherever oh so wow. okay. yeah but um, we <laughs> okay. yeah an asterisk yeah <laughs> we did it in <laughs> we did it in a place called Suffolk and it was through forests, sand, fucking mud. Sick, but also probably made it so much harder. So much harder. Yeah. <laughs> like harder, man. So much Just harder. Running through sand. That's that's so that is tough, harder. dude. So much harder, man. I shit twice. What? Yeah, that always yeah. while you were you running. Yeah, it's a big Bro, thing. watch the episode. I shit twice behind a tree, <laughs> and I had to ask the man on the quad bike filming me to give me some tissue. Oh, it's a big man. thing. It's a that, big wait, thing hold runners. on. You're you running for hours. Outside? I had to. I'm yeah, running. No I, I, I hold on. Why would you? Why would you time your shits beforehand? So, okay, you know Wagamama over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wagamamas? No, you ever Japanese in that? Okay, it's Japanese, sort of like like a Nando's, but Japanese, yeah, sort of thing, right? Okay. Um, I had a katsu curry the night before. <laughs> oh, well, that's where you fucked up. Like, <laughs> listen, okay, that's I, like what he ate before he had the fucking. Guys, <laughs> I check. I check into my hotel. There's not many options, so I order Wagamamas. I thought, yeah, rice. Check in, Kari. Carb load. Carb load. Yeah, Carb load yeah, the sure, fuck out sure. this body because I, I wake up at the crack of dawn and I'm going, right? 
it was an awful decision because my gut that morning yeah, was bad, man. Curry, 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 curry. It's the curry. Bad, Curry's man. tough. Curry but, comes out in a hurry. That's yeah, a little it line really did. Forget. But I had a GoPro strapped to my wrist, right? And at one point, I'm running down sort of like a stream with like reeds around and there's a drone following me. And there's like one tripod I can see in the distance and I had to talk to the GoPro. I said, you got cut. Wait, did you wipe with that hand? Brother, I, 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 no, brother, I, I took the GoPro off and put it on the trail oh, okay. and just and squatted in the reeds. Had a boy. Squatted What'd in the you reeds. wipe with? POV or uh, leaves, <laughs> leaves at that point. But then for the second trip, there was like a little station that I could Man, run how up. long were you running for? I did it in... Three and a half, probably. Four, four. four twenty. Four, yeah, it's literally long, four it's twenty. It's a long run. You know how many people when you're running a marathon but, you see with shit, like actual shit yeah. stains? My aim was, like my aim was sub thing. four hours, but... I think if it, if I was to do it on the road and I was in that shape still, less the shit, you probably would have done it. Oh, one hundred percent, I would have I would have smashed it. But yeah, man, it's tough in mud and shitting. Yeah, <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough. You wow. you guys pee in the streets here, like you guys have. I a little, peed, not normally. I I know. I in Central, you got oh, no. like, cubicles where you can go to. <laughs> yeah, Harry, no, that Harry shit would, was so weird to me. I, I my Harry would get that done. No, Harry would tell you I'm a beast. I piss anyway. I pissed on the way here. I stopped my bike and I pissed. I just needed to go. It's very New York, New York City of it. So I just... I, I, you guys don't way. get to the guys There's no laws Why does that make you a beast? No, he hates it. He hates it. He's like, Ethan, man, you're a fucking criminal. He's like, you just piss everywhere. And I said, I, listen, I need to piss right now. Yeah. But like... Tiny bladder. <laughs> tiny bladder. But like, an hmm. awful tiny bladder. Do you... Does, like, does it fuck you up when you watch movies? Yeah, yeah. It fucks me up everything. I, if I want to watch a I football, a, soccer game or whatever. One of, one of my pet peeves, man, I'm sorry... People with tiny bladders. Oh, it brother. is. He, he's bothered by oh, that. Just, that just bothered oh, our friendship a lot. He flipped, no, he flipped. Not, not yet, bro, but like, man, you've been on the road trip where it's like, all right, guys, we're going to drive for five hours straight. Yeah. Uh, maybe two and a half. Is everyone ready? Yeah. 30 minutes in, Mike's like, oh. <laughs> it hasn't been <laughs> happening as much lately. Do you know yeah. what? I try, and, I try and prep, so I'll stop drinking. If I know something's coming up, I will purposely yeah. stop drinking. Yeah. yeah, smart. Because it's bad now. It's bad. I, it, during our podcast, I piss twice. You should wear diapers. <laughs> yeah, and then you and remember. your kid can change Ooh. at the same time. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good idea. And, it, and it's bonding. It's yeah. bonding with the and child like, that comes out. Who is that? Me or him? <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk more about this dynamic a little bit with you guys, and and it's it's. Can I go to the toilet? Yeah, you want to go right now? <laughs> oh my god! You want oh, to? I brought it up. No, go ahead. I'll I'll, I'll bring it because I want <laughs> I want to ask I want to ask Simon this too. Oh. We because we haven't heard as you know a lot from you today. It's interesting to sit across from. You know, it's not a one for one comparison, but other <clears throat> side men, right? And so, like, throughout the course of my own career. It's always amazing to watch Logan. Amazing. And I, and I would assume it's amazing for you guys to see what JJ is able mm -hmm. to accomplish. Um, but is there, are there ever times where you've felt not so great or like you wanted to break out of that or like you were, you were not super comfortable with the idea of being a sideman? I don't think so. I think it's kind of because I've known him since school and I was helping him like I helped him film. Uh, like I filmed all his like original videos and then... Well, he uh, helped him pack his clothing line. Well, I ran the clothing line. There you go. Like, his whole... Uh, he had beast clothing before. Um, I had did all that. So I was kind of like I was used to it and then I was just thankful that he was kind of like willing to help me. Absolutely. So I don't... Yeah. I mean, even now, if someone says like, oh, you're only famous because it's KSR, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> still, that's, still famous. No, that's the right, that's the right, <laughs> no, but that's the, right, that's the right attitude. And by the way, like we, I see that stuff all the time, and that's why I ask, I like ask you guys because it's, you know, I I'm, I just get curious to pick other people's brains. But it's like, you know, you go back to all these times where um, Jay Z curated a group of people around him, mm -hmm. or you know, uh, wh whoever, whatever rapper that had a, a group around them, and some of those other people proved to be equally, ta not equally, but proved to be talented or proved to create in a different frame of, of, or space. And it's always interesting to see that dynamic and how it plays out. And I think, you know, people do get obsessed with that idea of who made who, but in a, 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 in a lot of ways, someone always made someone. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I just think it'd be, it'd be too arrogant of me to think that, you know, I could have done you it without it. For sure, yeah. same, so I have same, to just, 100%. I just have to accept that. Yeah. It is what it is. You guys got to give yourself some credit because Absolutely. because there's a lot of people who have, at least on our side, come through the camp, right? And they don't have this the is success what I was gonna say. That, that he took, uh, that he, like, mm. like all, all, all I did for these guys, they have a natural thing. All I did was, like, show them to the world because I already had a, had a platform. Yeah. That's it. And then they ran with it, right? So, like, 
you gotta give yourselves more credit, bro. You're a special kid. No, I, like, I understand that. You know, he gave he he's given so many people an opportunity to to stand out. Yeah. And I think we've all yeah. And then, yep. And then if you stand out, not yeah. now you're special, bro. Now you're ranked. Yeah. What were you gonna say? No, I was literally gonna say yeah. exactly what you said. Like, so many people have hung around with JJ, been in and around his circle, and haven't ended up where we've ended up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a reason. I, and yeah, like we we don't. I wouldn't say we particularly attach ourselves <laughs> to him. Like, I think. If anything, JJ kind of gravitates towards us because of how real we are with him. And the other thing about him as well, like you were saying about us feeling like we want to break out of that sideman thing, he doesn't let you feel like you're a sideman. Like, you're yeah. gassing up, JJ, you're doing this, you're doing that. He's like, no, bro, we're all doing this. We're all... Like, he makes everyone feel included every time. It's very humbling. Well, that's very nice. He, he, he Logan is. doesn't do that. He, 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 he <laughs> looks at us each time and goes, hey, bitch, remember why you're eating? And I go, yes, master, yes. And I, just fucking, I, I sit there and I eat while Mike's washing his feet. Are you kidding? Bro, no. George sends me thank yous every other week. He's like, bro, I just want to thank... I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. You know who he got mad at me for once? Dead ass. He yelled at me. He goes, dude, shut the like fuck it. up. I was like, bro, I'm thanking you. He goes, yeah, but every time. I go, yeah, it's called gratitude. No, no, no. The problem is you were... You were giving me way too much credit. <laughs> All I did, bro, was go, hey, look at that guy. And then you did your well, thing. I think the thing that gets slept on a lot of times, too, and you, and you Simon, brought this up before, is, like, no one is in either camp mm. because they're like, yo, give me some... There's symbiotic value yeah, of yeah, yeah. epic yeah. proportions yeah. for every yeah. single yeah, one of you. Mother facts. Like every single one of the people on both these teams delivers unmatchable value back upstream to, to offset the, the, the stream in the opposite direction. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, and it's like, yeah. it's like, but, but the reason why you see those comments and the reason why you see that sentiment from people sometimes is they don't see that shit. No. That's not the shit they see. Like no one knows the intricacies. And, and by the way, like, I think about this stuff all the time because we we live it day mm. to day, and you guys have your own sets of intricacies with JJ, and so like me and him have and and him and George have very special relationships that that drive incredible bi directional uh, value. You know what I'm saying? But no one would ever know about it because no. it's very intricate fucking shit that would take a year to unpack a yeah. podcast and content. Yeah. I I, I kind of see it this way, and I've seen this since the <laughs> jump because. Uh, I see it from everything that I look at, I try to see it from like, how would God want me to see it? And I know it sounds very cheesy, mm. but it's like, if he gave it to me, I would like to see where, where his perspective mm -hmm. is. And from the very jump, a lot of things that I've realized in this industry, I like to learn from other people's mistakes is a lot of their egos and prides are the, the demise of their, yeah, their correct. destinies. So when Logan uh, came into my life, he came into my life at such a beautiful time. And I was like, okay, there's two voices in my head. One is like, wow, your best friend's killing it, and he gave you this avenue that you could just unlock all of your destinies with. Mm. Or you could be like, wow, he's killing it more than you, and you'll always be in a shadow. Mm. So it's, it's it's like a devil in your ear, and there's an angel in your ear. And once you can figure out a way to kind of just see it from a gratitude point of view, you don't leave room in your heart for people to even damage you. So if somebody comes up to you and be like, yo, you're only here because of your best friend, I'll be like, all right, bitch, where's your best friend at? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he's working well, that's at what Wendy's. He said, that's yeah. what he said. He said, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to see it from that point of view. And then, like, I got into the stand up world, and then we had Joe Coy, Andrew Schultz, all these great people coming. Now, what am I going to say when I'm a big stand up? I'm going to be like, oh, I did this on my own. It's like, mm. no. Whenever he says jump, I'll say hi. Same as Joe Coy, same as all the people that gave yeah. you their platform because they didn't have to do that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to do that. But I still think that the, the other side of it is what drives you. Oh. Yeah. I agree. I, agree I, think, same time. I think opportunities fall in lots of people's laps. Uh, and some people are blind to it. Some people it just don't have that perspective to think, oh, what can this I is, do with this? Yeah, yeah. like what, what can I do with this? This is an opportunity that I can't let waste. The amount of people JJ has given like a like a platform and then they just kind of go like, oh, cool, I'll ride it for like a week. Yeah. No, oh, no, it's both cool. sides, it's both sides man. Yeah. And I, dude, we, we talk about this all the time. It's like, fuck, now I have to pee, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I had a, 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 tw a tweet about it the other day that was basically like, your mentality and attitude will put you in the right rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your hard work will then elevate you from the relationships you build in those rooms to actual success. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so without both sides of the coin, like like you know, if, if the same thing as as your camp, we've had hundreds of people come through that you know didn't turn it into something. So you you know it. it Networking is important. Hard work is important. You need both. Yeah. You need both. Well, like when JJ first when we started, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think I even saw a girl for about four years. No, no, no. 
No, no, no. We literally just sat in our room and just recorded. Bro, I remember th these days, right? We used to sit on a Skype call. I'd get home from college. I was sit in sit in the Skype calls. I probably need a nap at some point because I hadn't slept. But we'd be on this, so we'd be on Social Blade, literally refreshing the hour by hour, wow. like sub subscribers, and, like, and we'd be in the call, and you'd just mute, right? Because you'd be doing, you'd be working, you'd be working, and then you come back in the call and be like, "I hey, listen, this video, I just got three hundred subscribers in an hour. I'm gonna go and do more." Yeah. And like you just sit in this call, mute, it bounce in and out of it, right? Because at that point, we was just so obsessed with like numbers. It was like, shit, man, we're going somewhere. Yeah. I need to do more of it. I need to do more of it. Yeah, and it was, it was constantly. Addictive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you start to get out of that mindset uh, when you, I'm sure at some point, realized that it's so fucking toxic? Bro? I, think, like, yeah, to. I think I would, I mean, I would say I'm probably one of the early ones to Yeah, just, you were. Yeah, one, one of the early ones to sort of just forget. Like, I didn't want to go for it. Or I wanted to do shit that actually made, me, on a day-to-day -day basis, make me happy. So I sort of dropped out of the regular uploading three videos a day, sort of every week. I sort of dropped out of it, and then I've, yeah, made me a happy person. So yeah. And you guys have all bounced around on formats, mm. also, you know, and and like, dude, Zerka, like, dude, watching him crush on fucking Twitch has He's been. Well, him, I mean, man. you guys, but like, crazy, bro. Like, it's been mm. wild to see like where everybody kind of falls into. So I I, I kind of had a question yeah. on that because it, it it is interesting having to balance your personal goals and endeavors with a group. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like we ha experienced that a little bit, right? Because impulsive and sometimes impulsive takes priority. Sometimes it doesn't yep. based on like w something one of us is doing. Yep. So how do you prioritize your personal goals versus the sidemen goals, the group's goals? I think there's, it comes with everything, right? You sacrifice personal goals and achievements also for, for a group in, in achievement. And it's not because it's just like brand achievements is we're friends, right? So we want, each other to do well. So if you have to sacrifice maybe like one thing that you can do at a later date for the benefit of six of your friends, you're going to do it, mm -hmm. right? So again, it's like that. We've always said like sidemen pretty much will always come. I think it should. Yeah. If I were to guess, and this is outside perspective, like sidemen feels, and I mentioned this the other day mm -hmm. when we were just like loosely chatting outside uh, the warehouse, is like you guys really could do sidemen forever mm -hmm. and have it, maintain your lifestyle forever For sure. pay the yeah. bills yeah. just like i know it's hard to get the group together and make the make the content but 20 years from now you could look back and still be doing sidemen and it'll still be amazing because the bond is still there yeah yeah I, I i think with the way things and every year right i remember there were some years where we'd, we'd sit there in december and be like shit we did this many views this year we did this whatever and we'll be like but how does next year get yeah. better? Than this is the last right? one. And then, uh. and then, yeah, we'll be like, we're like, this is it, bro. Like, we've run it now. Like, we, this video, yeah, and then you get to the end of the next year and you think, fuck, like, we really did Up improve it. again. How? Um, right. But year on year, it sort of just keeps progressing. And I suppose there's got to be. I'm, I'm sure you'll plateau, but mm -hmm. like, we do. Yeah, you guys are great, dude. Like, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna pin that real quick because I'm, I wanna, I wanna hit that. That's a thing, but I am excited about this podcast. What we're doing, because like I, I want to be doing this, doing this. Yeah. With these guys, fifteen fucking years from now, like, what does that look like? What are your fans who've been watching for fifteen years, an hour every <laughs> single week? What does that look like? That's the coolest thing ever to me. To grow with the people who care about you is, yeah. is amazing. Well, we, we've said before, haven't we? Like, even if we stray away, the only reason we've done weekly videos is because we had a YouTube like premium original show series, we had a yeah. youtube original series right mm. and they said oh if you want to put it on the sidemen channel you need to stop posting every week so we did it becomes sidemen sundays right that's the only reason it yep, exists yep yep so i think even if say we grow up like we are all growing up things are happening in personal lives if we s sort of stray and go into like once once a month uploads but it's like it's specials right so like you you are you're filming with the boys for maybe three to four days and it is like a movie sort of thing yeah that people get they get 12 a year right that is maintainable, I think, throughout, like you're For saying, sure. like, like a lot longer For period. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. One, thing, one thing these guys have that's always been just so i've been in awe of for years and i think it's a, a, a reason why you guys are efficiently able to continue to do it is your fucking infrastructure dude you guys have an insane team but it, like, it, see, everyone, it, but like everyone at least says at this. least it seems like from the outside okay. because because is that not does the it case? okay we, we had always, one lady yeah we always that's like, crazy because because she's just in the back it's more than that now it's more, it's than, more than that now but it we is, had one but, lady no 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 sorry. the channel yeah. like you hear mr beast has he has something like 35 for his gaming yeah. channel. Yeah. yeah. We have less than that for all our channels combined. Yeah. But it, but it, but it, Wait, um, why does it, he have so many people? He's got crazy teams. But it, but it fucks with me sometimes because 
we run so lean, bro. Mm. And, and and we we talk too like, lean. No, this is one of these. This is one of those di directional value things that I was talking about earlier. We get on these business calls weekly and talk about uh, the issues that mm. are affecting this business. And honestly, we are, and we've said this for years, and every time we say it, 450 people email us. It's going to happen <laughs> again off yeah. this episode. Mm -hmm. But we are so fucking lean yeah. that, like, yo, we've never, had a, we've never had a single person helping on creative. We've never had a single person helping on, on you know, like, <laughs> where's, where's, shop this or marketing or anything. It's so alike. It's yeah. like, <laughs> it's like you're the American. Yeah. 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 Until a year ago, we Did had. Did you guys see a difference when you changed up? Oh, well, yeah. We're in the midst of still changing up. Like, we've, we've started... Hiring reaching it. out, yeah, we've we've got people doing creatives now. We've got we got more editors. Well, as soon as we teams. brought in a management team, that's yeah. when we launched vodka. Yeah, uh, you science, can tell. Everything. You can. Yeah, so you we can, got an in-house well, management helped out. We got so, an in-house one. How did yeah. you guys pick? Did you guys like? Well, and also, who makes the decisions? Because there's seven. Do you take votes? One of the guys was our accountant. <laughs> we do. Yeah, that's, that's literally right. What it is. Like for and it's seven. So who the? That's like a really hard because it can never be even. This that's is why. Thing. That's what's good though. Yeah. You need to get your vote in early as well, so you're not. <laughs> if you're the last <laughs> remaining vote, it's good that there's seven oh, because it could be three versus three, and then like Toby is often the the guy. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah. We and we have Jeff, and obviously. Jeff Jeff has done a tremendous But look job, how he's man. sitting, bro. Fuck well, he's tired. Jeff, <laughs> he, just got sitting, off, he just got off a plane to fly here to, to no, be with Jeff, us. But Jeff is running the entire enterprise oh, he by needs, himself. We need, help, we need mm -hmm. fucking help, dude. And, yeah. Je and Je like, he can't do just all of it. to the it. point. Will you guys help us? Fuck's <laughs> 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 man. Now, it's finding the right people with that stuff again. Like you said, we've had a lot of people come in and out of being around us and working with us, and not everyone takes the opportunity. We have a couple people that are so essential to the whole operation now because they've come in and they've just put us first on yeah. a daily basis. Shout out TP. Yeah. Um, We've never searched for people though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They kind of fallen into our lap. And they're all like I think they're all people we've known. That's the, that's what's Funny. amazing. Like there's for example, it breaches this far. There's two two people that played for my old football team work in our warehouse now to like do the merchandise and stuff like that. So like Everyone is sort of like even Matt, who runs it, what? is yeah, yeah. one of our I'm just best thinking, friends. I'm school. just hearing it and thinking. And, and do you know what the best thing is, right? So Matt is the goat of right. of our merch. He has taken Sidemen clothing For a whole to a level. whole new uh, level, right? And and the guy at the start, he didn't know how to run a clothing business, but over he's proved himself so well, man. Like he's he's unreal. I just signed on with his clothes today. Actually, I signed the paperwork with his clothing. Producer, mm -hmm. I wanted that. my own, and he's London based actually. Gemplo, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Shan, right? Yeah, Sa yeah. Assad. I wanted yeah. to ask yeah. what what uh, vertical Sideman vertical it, it performs the best. Is it the clothing? For a long time, it was the clothing. Is it still the, the clothing? Guy? Was a go. It's just the channel. I think. I think YouTube. <laughs> yeah. YouTube, channel, YouTube yeah. now YouTube. is we've got the main, the more, the reacts, and the shorts, right? So we got four. Yeah. Insane. Four that are, and like, shout out Simon as well, because he, he sort of removed himself from main channel <laughs> to focus on more Simon. I don't think the second channel would be, sometimes the second channel is better. It's probably my favorite channel, I think. Wow, okay. And like, that's because like the concepts and the, and the, and the stuff on there, it's just, it's, it strips us back to our roots as well. It's more like from 2013. Like, mm -hmm. that's what it feels like. It's still mm -hmm. like that type of fun. So... And this man's a workaholic. If there's anyone who picked to do that channel, it's this man. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Simon, Simon, what are you doing on the channel? Like, what do you mean? Are you uh, well, no. It, we, Whatever Simon says. <laughs> <laughs> what we used to do, like, with the main channel, it would be someone takes a video. So, like, uh, say Ethan took... Well, JJ took the 20v1 you did. Yeah. Mm. So he would plan... He would then talk to a woman named TP and organize, like... Where it's going to be shot? Oh, okay. Camera crew, etc. Oh, that's like, right. So like your responsibility. The, the fishing one was the fishing My, one yeah. was your video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then the second channel. I see. Was like neglected. So yeah. Just kind was of that the main? The uh, Sorry. Like, what? what yeah, which the, video did that go? The on? fishing video was a main channel video. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. How, how <laughs> you, can't, you can't believe it. <laughs> well, do you know what it was? Like, it was stupid show. <laughs> we were. So you guys just bro. Fishes. It's so funny, right? We're in a call and we're like, fuck, we're we're stuck for video ideas, but we we like the idea of side men go fishing. So it was like, I know. It's again, TP, she knew someone that could get us on this boat. We could go and do it. And then I think, I said in the call, I was like, oh, I think Logan's here. And like, we could try and put a Tinder together. Now it's too much hassle to try and organize now. I was like, fuck it. Let me WhatsApp him and say, do you want to go fishing? Fuck yeah. <laughs> and and uh, it, literally, I said, I, I put in the chat, but he said, yes. Like, <laughs> straight away. None of us thought Everyone we were coming. Sure. Dude, in, the, in, the call, in the call, they're like, yeah, I don't really think he's going to want to come out for fishing. And bear in mind, we took you to like, <laughs> we took you out. Yeah, yeah, we were out there. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he loves that kind of stuff. I know, right? He's obsessed. We weren't expecting, you're in, you're in the UK, 
what are the chances that you want to go fishing? Fuck it, I'll chuck it out there. Dude, Throw a line fishing. Out. No, no, that's no, like yeah. that's my my weak point. We need to go fishing in America, like like proper oh, American fishing. Oh, that'll the, be fun. Off the coast of Florida, man. Yeah, for marlin and shit. You know what? When it gets too choppy and you're like mm. charter fishing. Get, trying to catch big fish out in the ocean. Groupers. It's uh, yeah, man. I want to see a Goliath. I caught grouper. one before. I think I seen it black tip, bro. Yep, 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 yeah, yep, yep. I need to do that. An man. insane <laughs> fish. Was it's that a, the day you called me fat? Uh, I, I do that like, kind of every day. <laughs> oh, there's some there's some Goliath groupers in London. <laughs> I'm a Goliath grouper. <laughs> there's some Goliath groupers in London. They had two last night. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd be oh. you'd be surprised. I can't believe it. The talent this guy pulled. No one's surprised, man. I I every no time I go, I just can't. I don't understand. <laughs> no, the I, energy thing, bro. It is. It, it is. Just thing. fucking smile. It's yeah. it's like what Gideon said. Like you really do give ugly guys hope. Facts, bro. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, when he said that, I was like, my man gives no fuck. <laughs> no, uh, nobody's right, but I said, unfortunately, I got the cheat code. I'm six, you're not six, ugly, three. bro. You're good I know I'm guy. not. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I need that. I need six. A, and tell him where you're Well, you're I'm going, fucked. I'm, I'm fucking, I got red hair, white eyebrows, brown. I'm fat and small. I don't know how listen, I've done it, really. Listen, for every girl... For every guy, there's a girl that likes him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There's a girl that appreciates that type of look or feel or whatever. Yeah. But one thing that every girl appreciates... Is that fucking good energy? That yeah, B, yeah. that BDE. Whether or not you actually have a BD, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. If you have an SD yeah. card, still give off, <laughs> still give off B <laughs> as much as you can. And that's just being nice. Look at him. I go, I'm lost. And smiling, throwing out. <laughs> I don't know any of these. Big, big I'm energy. Not big small you know, dick. Oh, in. you don't surprise, dude. Let me remind you, <laughs> I'm the biggest dick here, and I'll put it against anybody, and I'll oh. put great money on it. You think great. you have the biggest dick here? Yes. And no, I'm surprised that you're I've seen, that. I've seen Logan in his pants literally about 30 minutes. 30 I will pull, minutes ago. I will, I will, let's pull out dicks right here on this podcast. What the fuck is going on? And see. By whiff, by whiff, by whiff, he's stop. got it. See, I, ha I have that. I've I don't know where to look. Too. He's got it. <laughs> he's good. Stop, 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 good stop, stop. It's a oh, complete well, how much joke. Money we put it on? I know you have boxing money. Well, you don't have the all right now. <laughs> fuck you, Mayweather. Still. Back to, uh, yeah, we're back to boxing. We're on back to boxing. The beef. Yeah. I want to get back to that, dude. Yeah, that yeah. was a fun topic. Damn, bro. We <laughs> had to beef. It, it just, we could not. And y'all, like, dude, y'all were completely established creators. Y'all were the fucking side men, bro. And this is, like, my first year in the space. Like, I, dude, I was so green, it's not even funny. Like, I don't even know <laughs> if we had started the, the pod yet. No. Dude, not even, no. right? And... I'm like going to my like 658 Twitter fans, like, oh fuck these dudes, like because I have to, because I have to. Yeah, yeah. And and by the way, like we have a ton of mutuals in LA. Now, not him, but like I'm very good friends with FaZe. Yeah, I'm yeah. very good friends with Banks and with this person, with that person. And they're hitting me up like, yo, these dudes are actually really cool. Like, I hope <laughs> like like I'm we're friends with all these guys. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know, man, but you know, Logan's fighting KSI, and like I kind of have to do this shit. And, dude, every time I would, like, try to infuse myself in mm. the situation, I would just get rolled on yeah. by the <laughs> army of, mm. like, like Harry would own me on Twitter. You guys would be like, yo, this fucking loudmouth moron. <laughs> yes, man. Like, constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, that was a wild fucking time. And, and like I said earlier, every time we would see each other. It was tense. It was tense. I remember we'd... We kind of disliked this. you for no reason. Like, we yeah. actually said in a call, we were like, why do we not like him? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I remember like, that. We don't know. I remember Who that. knows? Again, I think it is because you're, you're We didn't know you. I didn't know. I don't think <laughs> no. I was around. No, no. no. Get yourself out of the situation. We're not talking about you. You weren't there yet. Okay, because you said us. I don't, I don't remember this. Well, you were partially there. You would jump on stage yeah. when a fight broke out. Yeah, no, yeah. One time, bro. One, <laughs> we don't fucking get jumped out. <laughs> I do think it's because you you was you knew, right? And no one knows this guy, but he's just fucking... He's just talking. In, a, in our eyes, and he's, and he's, but he's just talking, he's, talk, he's gassing you. He won't stop talking about you, do you know what I mean? So like, this new guy, guy is just like, he's fucking, like, so yeah. we're like, he's a yes man. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck him, man. He's a fucking yes man. And you know what, the, the worst thing we hate in the UK is yes men. Yeah. UK, yeah. we fuck. Oh, oh, your, your fans, bro, they, that was their favorite thing. Like, <laughs> and, and by, yeah, yeah. And by oh, the way, like at the time, outward facing, mm. I was. 100%, yeah, like, yeah. put me on a show, like, this kid's gonna beat his ass. Yeah. And then imagine how I felt. <laughs> Sick three months lead into this shit, and then I'm standing there like, fuck, <laughs> this is not good. But but honestly, I mean, behind the scenes, bro, I'm the 
always telling this motherfucker, like, yo, don't do that fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I again, I think I think lost with JJ. Yes, yeah, this is what I mean. I think, I think people people <laughs> since, <laughs> he'll, he'll tell you, he'll tell you, he'll tell you since day one, I was the one, yo, get this person off your team, do this, do yeah. always telling him what was fucking good. I think he'll fucking tell you. It's very public that we bring JJ down. Yeah. What? Like, What'd you say? Huh? Yeah, because you were being. Logan's falling asleep right now. I'm not gonna lie. Look Logan at this. Needs Zoom in on his face. Logan needs hey, some vodka. Hey, hey, I, that vodka. I was about to say Logan needs some vodka right now. Hey, me that X I. We did a whole. We did a whole podcast before you guys got. Yeah, I know. No, no. It's, you know what the issue is? I don't know. I don't fucking know, bro. What it's hot. What it's saying? hot. Here it is. Uh, we we sort of defaced JJ <laughs> publicly, <laughs> right? Much, so much. like, but I think that's what he. I think he likes it, right? And it sounds like a fetish, right? But I feel like <laughs> I feel like if he had a fuckload of yes men around him, he'd be awful. He'd be unbearable. Yeah, oh, I think so, he'd be unbearable. So when you see someone like 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 we said, we knew Logan and JJ are like the same sort of shit. When you see someone that you think is just giving them the premium lick, right? You're like. <laughs> You're like, you're like, just fucking chill, man. Like, like, yeah. just at least, at least tell him, like, you're in a, just fucking be normal, right? Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, I think uh, again because you was new, no one knows who the fuck you are at this right. point, right? But then you learn who you are, and then you realize what sort of ongoings you do with on the daily. But you sort of go, ah, he's that guy. Like he does, he does that for him. It's yeah. fun. That's yeah. another reason why I think the uh, diss track started because he yeah. went to LA and everyone around him was literally just like, oh, yeah, bro, you're sick. Bro. you're sick. Yeah, yeah, someone yeah, yeah. actually told him. Guys. You remember someone told him. I'm not gonna say who, but someone told him, like he's way bigger than the side. Yeah, yeah, he, he should right. leave. He should Stay, leave this like, side. Move to LA. Right, and right, just, right. Like, fuck us off. Yeah, yeah. That's why he left. What well, a bitch. No, Bring no, back. No. Pretend, <laughs> pretended to leave. Yeah. Well, okay, all right. The, to rebuttal that just for a second, maybe at the time I could I could see. Oh no, he was bigger than us. He still is. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 you don't need to I, say it. <laughs> I think I think it's different now. I think it's different now. I think the Simon has like I think the Simon has now like real staying power like re it holds, actual it holds real, weight now. Where is that? Oh, yeah. a, yeah, a yeah. lot of weight. Yeah, yeah. Back then, I could see how that could like infiltrate a mind, yeah, yeah. a young creative mind who's like on the come up. Now it's like, again, dude, there's. I, this is our version of the group, and yeah, we'll be yeah. doing it forever. There's power in it. People like to see, yeah. you know, you guys build your brand separately, then come together for a weekly, consistent thing that you're committed to. A we is always better than an I, yeah. in my in yeah. my opinion. I think I think a we is just stronger. Like now, are we ever gonna make a group for both of our crews coming together? <laughs> it's too hard, dude. It's already that would hard be enough. Nuts, bro. It no, but like nuts. a once a year. Once a year. Once that'd a be year. sick. That would be, that'd that'd be, be so many. Are, are, we, are, we filming something, are we filming something in July? Yeah. In LA? Yep, yep. Are they in it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Fuck it. They were meant to be. Yeah, fuck it, man. You're oh, in, you in it. I'll you talk know? to my people. I'll see if I can. Well, he, he, yeah. he needs to pull strings in one oh, of them, yeah. right? Yeah. Can we say what it is? Yeah, fuck it. Let the people know, man. No, it should be like. I didn't ask you. It's already fine. You know what I mean? It's already fine. It's already fine. He said, know your place. Yeah, I think it's a pink towel. I'll say it. I'll say it. It's a side bend Tinder. Yes. And, uh, uh, We've employed Mike to uh, find out the talent, the <laughs> Instagram good. famous talent. So yeah. if you are Instagram famous and you want to be in the, the Tinder video, it's going to be- You love Instagram followers. <laughs> get in the video. Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You'll get oh, do the they blow up afterwards? Yeah. Bro, people yeah. find the random chicks. In See, the this. OnlyFans girls. Bro, they went clear. They went the clear. The only thing that kind of- Oh, we did wow. only We did OnlyFans Olympics, right? And just did a like, load of shit challenges against these OnlyFans models. They made money. Wow. Yeah, they made oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they made money. The only thing that kind of fucks it up is if I, if I like, go and hand select yep. and do that, then I'll know all the girls. And so it will change yeah, the dynamic between that's me fine. and the girls. We don't matter, bro. You, you, got, you yeah. got to deliver a fucking you line. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, 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 how yeah. it goes right? I'm going to have some sick lines, dude. You got to. I have to prepare. I have to watch how you guys do it. So yeah, I yeah. Don't watch us. Don't watch us. How to not do it is us. Yeah. No, but that's what people want to see. True, they want yeah. that awkward like that, interaction. Yeah. How do you, how do you, how does your girl feel about like when you when you come home and you? Just... Oh, they're not the biggest fans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we call it we call it the boardroom, the boardroom, uh, the board, 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 <laughs> the board don't sign it off really. But <laughs> you gotta, it's performative media. I, 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 we're making media, right? Yeah. I'm we're making, you know that. We're fucking media. making media. This, uh, you have to explain. We're making media. Like I, if, think about it. Like, when the cam when the camera when that little red light goes off, I'm not trying to fuck them. Like I want them to go as quick as possible. Yeah. I want to go home. Like I don't want you still lingering. Go away. So yeah, man. But the board the board don't sign up. Board. Mm. That's you, bro. Because let me tell you something. If the girl's bad enough. That red light goes off. 
my man's still trying to fuck. He's trying to fuck. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. First of all, like I said, there probably will be a few that I already have. <laughs> of course. No, of course. all of them. Yeah, yeah. If not every single one of them. Yeah. That's what that's the only issue with employing him is like, who do you think he's gonna go to? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His go-to's. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, they're perfect for this. Yeah, they're, yeah, per- they're perfect. They're perfect. That's what we that. need. 40 minutes of media. That's it. Who lost who lost the most money on crypto in the past two weeks? Yo, ETH almost hit. Under a thousand bro, it's today. Done, it's done. It's, it's over. Close, right? it's, we're done. It's, it's over. It's done. Well, it's, bro, it's fun. It's fun. The Ponzi scheme is <laughs> the Ponzi scheme is full. Turns out it was a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like everything in life, right? Bad, if you're if you're making money, someone's losing money. It, mm-hmm. That's what's happening, man. And and JJ was a victim of it. JJ was a <laughs> big, big, horrific victim. How much did he lose? Two point eight million in a day. Well, that was just one. That was just one thing. That was everything he put in then. Yes, but he had lost. A few million before oh, he's that lost, as well. He's, I'd say over five M's, right? Yeah. Probably lost, yeah. That's making me yeah. feel better about that board ape that I bought <laughs> for 700, 700. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the stat? Like, if you bought ETH in the past, like, two, two and a half years, you're down. Like, fact. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, probably like year and a half. Yeah, JJ what? owes me, man. So if you bought yeah. it, yeah. bro, the day before the drop. Do you know who is the goat, right? You Wait, know, Calix, no two ways. Out? Yeah, Calix, Calix bought ETH at eighty dollars, man, back in the day. Did he get out wow. though? Because that's where it's going Luck. back. That's where it's going back out. to. He got out. <laughs> Lux, Lux is a very smart man. He got out. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So great shoes. Go. Yeah, Wait, great why, shoes. Why does he owe you? What happened? Uh, I I bought into got him Bitcoin. I, That's it. I have them. Yeah. That day, I'm sat in the car with JJ. He's like, "Yo, bro." <laughs> <laughs> I already know ETH. what it is. When so. they say "yo, bro," it's a no-no. Yeah. Like, ETH, bro. <laughs> and that's exactly bro. what he does. Bro. That's how he does it. <laughs> it's about to blow. He has finance up. Whilst he's doing it. He goes, "Look, bro, I can't believe it." <laughs> so I put hundred grand in. And it, uh, wait, when? When? When was it? The day before the drop. So like, like recently? Uh, a few months ago. Like, oh, you're it was, cooked. Bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, can I ask you what that conversation went like? Yeah, were you, <laughs> would you go up to me like, hey, <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Yo, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, the, yo, bro. <laughs> the fucked up thing was he couldn't even show him what it was at at Binance because Binance <laughs> shut down. Yeah, yeah. Binance shit the bed. I, I was like you though. I, I started buying pictures, right? So I don't really like the coin trading. I don't. Yep. Uh, it don't interest me. I'm, I agree, I'm creative. I, agree. I like pictures. I right? So I thought, oh, pictures. Let me trade a picture or two. <laughs> so I bought a couple of shit pictures. I bought a good picture. I bought a world of women. Right? What are you right. talking about? A picture like an NFT? Yeah. Why aren't you saying oh, NFT? No, it's on. a fucking Say, picture. Hold bro. on a second. Do, oh, Him we, saying pictures instead of NFT is saving us from our audience we right now. Say, we can't say NFT. They're done right. with NFT. Yeah, right. they don't want to hear it. Okay, so they don't want to hear it. I bought a picture. I was buying pictures. I was buying. I was buying on. I fucking like that, dude. I was buying pictures from now on. Yeah. I was buying pictures, right? So I kept buying pictures. Well, I was that buying... could be OnlyFans, by the was... way. So I was buying... <laughs> <laughs> and you have a girl. But so. I was I was buying shit pictures, but I also bought some good pictures. I bought a. You I bought, you was... bought a tree. I bought... No, I didn't no, buy a tree. I didn't get a tree. Oh. Cowboy tree. Uh, I bought I bought like a top one k world of woman, right? You bought a world of woman. Yeah, yeah, fantastic, yeah. great, right? I joined the Discord and I'm getting hyped. Yeah, I see where this is going. Yeah. Well, I check in. I think I bought mine six ETH, right? I sold it for eight point nine. So nice. I covered. The stinker that I did have on all the other <laughs> shit bitches. So then I just took it all out because I was like, I'm not playing. It's shit, man. Shark. It's shit. It's Shark. just funny. It's, it's, it's shit, it's, man. It's scary. I took the win out. It's these broke. with these fucking projects every day. We my, got, we got my, a roadmap. We my got a roadmap. project is gonna fucking blow through this bear market. The one Thanks yesterday, to. right? One percent of the next fight, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's cool. It's at forty ETH. Yeah, which is ten dollars. Forty is ten dollars. <laughs> like, bro, it's not blowing. Bro, it's not blowing through the bear market. The bear market is also a nuclear bomb. It's over. Stop. Uh, uh-uh. it's not. And I'll tell you why it's not over. Cause I believe that I have found a way to effectively weave Web three into actual real life value. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. That's, that's where a lot of these projects I think lack. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if I could say this, bro. <laughs> Yo, bored apes, dude. I never really understood. <laughs> I never I'm really gonna, no, understood. No, no, Do you know no, what no, everybody means? He means I, specifically that project because he because he was a big punk guy from the beginning yeah. because it was like kind of the beginning. It just it was the came. First it project. just came at a time that didn't. That it, it came at a time where the time that it, it came <laughs> was not the relevant 
piece of information that made it valuable. No way, Punks funny. are valuable because they're the first of this yeah. specific technology that is cool. The apes, I'm like, okay, you're solely buying this because the community, the hype, and the the, the way they Do you know what it, look. It Wait, reminded me of, them? it reminded me of like, it's the supreme of NFTs, you know? When like everyone, bit, everyone, everyone went through, bit. I need that fucking red box, bro. I need the fucking red no, box. No, but there's still, but, but what is, but what's different about that versus anything else that gets hot? Yeah. I understand the utility conversation, don't get me wrong, but apes have woven utility into the product. Now, so now it's, they have, and then I started to get it. Once, once they like effectively used what they did in culture, yeah. I started to get it. And, and, yeah. and, and, and so, so still now I get it. At first I didn't. Like they but were like, poised to create the, the, the right, me a cool and, metaverse. And by the way, they still, cool and they still, they still probably are going to, man. Like this, the, who knows what this dip is, but. Are you going to NFT NYC? I am. I mean, it's going to be, it's a funeral. I'm, I'm it's speaking. a funeral. It's like, not a bring, funeral. Bring a it's not a funeral. <laughs> 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 everyone's, <laughs> going, everyone's going to grieve. <laughs> speak to each other. Yeah, hold on to like, grieve. Bro, it was a good run. Can I be honest? I want to be there. I want to be there. I want to see all their smug fucking faces. Hey, dude, you got to, this is the bottom floor, dude. You gotta be right. Suck my dick. I'm so happy you lost all your money. Fuck. I'm so happy. All of those people. No, 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 no. We are those people. Yeah, no, 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 no. What are you saying? Fucking good. Because I just sit here with my dick in my ass while you guys are talking about fucking NFTs every fucking podcast. Pictures. So pictures. Like, yes, pictures. Pictures. But so they're like, dude, are you feeling bad about your friend? No. No, I'm not. I'm not. And anybody who else lost their money, lost their homes, lost. And you know what? Lost a family member. Good! <laughs> Fuck you! Bro. Fuck you! If I hear NFTs worse than STD, I'd rather have an STD. I'd rather have an STD that would kill me than an NFT that doesn't do anything! It does nothing! Oh my God. The audience, the audience is clapping. The audience yeah, yeah, is yeah. clapping. Yeah, yeah. They have been waiting for someone to it. say that for so, so long. So let me know where that is. I would love to go wearing white. White. While everyone wears black, I'll be celebrating. It'll be my wedding. Listen, George, it's coming oh. back. It's coming back. Oh, yeah? yeah. It better come back. Oh, yeah, is it? It's coming back. Okay, dude. Okay, 2025 man. is our year. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> My God, man, that was great. Yo, that's you know what's. I've known that kid for eight, eight years. I've never seen a blow up like that. That <laughs> that came from a deep spot in his heart. Oh, He's been waiting to, for that. <laughs> I've been waiting. You just volcano, dude. You mouth food. This fucking that, all of that shit needs to go now. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, how is everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck, man. Oh shit. That was a real hard. Right, I, I need, Harry going to hike. Give me a second. Yeah, that was that was. What else you guys got? Anything? Anything you guys are curious about American culture? You want to talk <laughs> about? Everything. You want to talk about Lizzo or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Lizzo, yeah, yeah man, you, she's killing it, I suppose. Spazzing. So yeah. I, I, I did want to ask: when you guys come over to America, how is it? You get the love? Uh, yeah. No, yeah, no, <laughs> no, not, not like no. here. Not like here. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, so why is that? We why, get love, I, we've noticed. We've noticed a disparity between you, the UK and the, the United States. Crazy. Why? Why though? The it's humor. humor. It's UK humor. Humor. Like and we don't we don't gel with American audiences. No, they don't get all. it. No, there's people over there. There's a lot of people over there that get it though. Yeah, they think sure. we're not the there same. There is, around. there is, but they think we're mean. Like if I call him a dickhead, they're all kind of like, that was a bit mean. Uh, Ricky Gervais is one of my favorite comedians, and he's yeah. from here. Yeah. He created The Office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe it's you, maybe it's maybe it's you guys. He's actually right there. <laughs> it, it, it could it could be. He's right there. <laughs> he is right there. <laughs> he's literally yeah, right yeah, yeah. staring right at me. What That's happened? That's so funny. <laughs> but honestly, it is it is crazy because when we get out here, mm. bro, it's wild. I mean, it's it's the same as New York City. I yeah, walk down yeah. the street and it's every, I mean, bro, like every fuck, I, I guess it's, I think it's our style is closer to British style or something like that from like a huge, I don't fucking know. I, I think know America's is. just fucking huge this is what as well, I was right? Oh, it's yeah. fucking huge. And like, if you have to put what we've done in America, it's still tiny compared yeah, to like yeah. the size of America, right? There's so many of you. So do you, so, think, do you think that's why... UK fans ride so hard. It, it, is it like a representation well, on a bigger scale? Than, even yeah. today, right? So I cycled here. <clears throat> uh, in 30 minute cycle, I think about 12 times I got, oh my God, is it? I think people and, like, so and, you're, and quick, you're going quick. And you're going quick. That's like, that's like people, a yes, instant people look. People like the fact that, hey, I'm going to London today. I might see the side bend. You know what I mean? Like mm. they're, they're these people and they're mm. out and about. You might see them. America, you don't get that. 
Mm-hmm. Like you don't, you don't only LA. Unless, unless yeah, you're in LA. LA. Yeah. LA is yeah. the only place. It's such a small like. Well, and we're sense. cooped up in the hills. I fucking like, hate LA. I can't. I can't cap. I don't like it. What part of it? Don't it's you like mean? playing The Sims and everyone's got a follow account above their head mm-hmm. and, and no one treats you like a person, really bro. Is. You're like a fucking blow up doll that can just do mm-hmm. something for someone, right? <laughs> that you're looking for utility in a human, bro. Like, well, can, we not, can we not just be friends? Yeah. Like, what, what, you want to just fucking kick it? Do whatever? New York, yeah. status and family, yeah. Miami, money only, LA, clout. Yeah. Why do you think I live there? Because I don't have a good family <laughs> or any money. <laughs> See, no, I'm I, just kidding. I'm getting mom. I love her. I think... I no, think I love like your mom right away. No, I no, no. I love my mom. <laughs> I think I, I prefer Miami because of it. I think I prefer Miami. Miami. If I was, yeah. if I was to uh, verse off LA Miami. versus Miami, I'm going Miami. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't like LA clubs either. We've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, nah, no. You got a shot at one. No, two. And by the way, they're about to push it to four. Or really? three or four, the laws go That's better. Right That's better. Yeah. LA. Yep. That's yep. better. No, 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 <laughs> it is not, bro. That Why was the one thing better? that was the one thing I liked about America. Like objectively, we need a cutoff, dude. Like oh. when I come to Europe, five, six, seven a.m. What time are you going to a club? I, I'll what go, time do you I'll go up? I will go at twelve fifteen. I'll leave at two. And you're happy? Well, that's yeah, just him. He doesn't funny. represent. Like, yeah, but you don't represent the. Well, we got stuff to do. No, but you we don't represent the <laughs> average club. And by the way, by the way, like just every city still does go to eight, seven, six, whatever. They just do it in their own ways. Yeah, Miami yeah. goes to eleven, and then space. Yeah. New York goes to Brooklyn to to output or to or to the parties there. LA's all about house parties. House parties. Yeah, yeah. When yeah, you yeah. leave the club, you go to the hills. But I think that's what which I which I also party, like. Oh, then, whoa, whoa, whoa! I love Hot house take. parties. Hot what, take, what, what, dude. What, what, You're the first that? person I've heard say that. What, what? It's that same thing of like that. that Wait, what? You him? You don't what? like house parties? In LA, no, no. No, what LA. he's saying makes sense because they're why? Because it's a stat. It's a status. It's thing. the same thing. Yeah. I want I want just the music and vibes. That's what I want the energy. I don't want to have a uh, conversation with someone about how many followers I got or what I who, do. Who who's having those conversations? You'd be surprised, bro. Really? Yeah. Bro, I went to one <laughs> when I was in LA, me and Tommy Temper, right? Yep. We we pulled up to this fucking, I don't know, we're just out. Look in this big house, right? We're like, fuck it, we're going out, we're going to this house party. Bro. We just stood outside this house looking like fucking rats looking for the cheese behind the gate, bro. Like <laughs> Okay, that, that's the word. And it's like, it's what bad. the fuck is going on? Like, I, I'm I'm big Ethan there. Yeah. I'm just gonna yeah, go back yeah, to my no, 100%. I'm gonna go back to my hotel room, bro. This is shit. What am I doing? We have we have a minute and a half outside a party. This is what if I'm saying. I mean, he. Yes. I mean, he's. I'm gonna be honest. He's pretty much. He's he's good. Yeah. He's good. But we still have even run into some. Like if but we're going to like a Leo or a fucking like I, look, someone's I, like I, these I, fucking gerbils just wait outside. I I, I, get, I get it, in, bro. I get it. It makes sense. But I, dude, some about like the comfortability of house parties, actually having the ability to have a conversation with someone and then go dance. I if you want to get a shot. Like yeah. I'm gonna, I like I the mix, the match. I no, house okay. parties are the best. I'm gonna, the I'm best. gonna compare your house parties to our afters. We call it. We call it afters, right? Uh, you might you might end up at an afters in the kitchen with someone until seven a.m. Yeah, that's happened a lot. I'll do right? that. Yeah, okay. that's cool. So that your bars better. are sick out here. So I I've like... done that a lot, right? Me and Harry are. Really good at afters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would, I'd say we, we are. No, but if but if you're in LA and you're in that crowd, yeah. that's throwing the parties. It's a different. Okay. Vibe. Yeah, yeah. So like when like I mean, dude, some of these like houses are insane. Mm-hmm. I mean, being in some of like, dude, I was at. Uh, we'll bleep it out, but I was at okay. house. Okay. Yep. Means what? Four billion. Well, now it's probably a hundred billion after the fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he was worth four billion like last week. Yeah. But this motherfucker's house is. Is it? It's insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's insane. It looks like you're at a resort. It's yeah. got entire rooms built just around snacks. <laughs> Every snack you could ever make. The size of this room. Snacks yeah, that's cool. everywhere. That's, that's what that, Simon's doing to his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys get this out here? I didn't. I didn't get this until I was in LA. But. Uh-huh. The first conversation starter is like, oh, what do you do? Yes. Yeah. That's weird. Yes, you don't just go. This is what I'm you saying. Don't just ha- you don't just speak like friends, right? Because you're trying to establish yes. who yeah. you are yeah. and I want to spend time with like you. But the one thing, I remember remember we did the Miami fight, right? For Jake and Gib, right? Mm-hmm. But me, you, and Mike sort of were doing the backstage. Mm-hmm. But the one thing, like, you didn't really know me at that point, really. But, like, the one thing, you guys, I've always said it different. You can just sit and have a conversation with. Yeah. Like, we just fucking cut up, had yeah. a convo. And that was it. Whereas yeah. you go to LA and these people are like, so what do you do? How many followers? I, don't know. I, I, yeah. I, do, tr- I do try to avoid the what do you do question. I, I will say though, because I also have fucking hate it, but there's, there's merit in that question. I do, I, I, get it. 
I, yeah, what do you do makes sense to ask? Just not. Yeah, I, I went, you know, know what? what level? I try to say, I try to say it differently. Yes, this is what I was you know? you know when someone's asking you what do you do as if to say, if you're I'm answering, if time. you're answering yeah. what I want, yeah. then I'm not. The intent yeah. in the question yeah. can yeah. be felt. Yeah. It's it's careful. You got to be careful how you ask it. Yeah. Like, I like to get to know the person before I get sure, to know sure, the Sure, 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 sure. But because that's a lot of what people do sometimes isn't great in what they do. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, true. But like if I were at a party, why the fuck do I care how you're paying your bills? Okay, right, but so that's... what's your question? What's your question? Bro, I'll, I'll make a joke. I'll, yeah. I'll break the ice. Like, if it was you, I'll be like, why are you wearing that shirt right now? <laughs> like, you know, like, I would... Yeah, you look for something where there's a story. Why, why, why would you say that? Wow, man. Well, what's wrong I would with think it? think about the side man or SD man. I don't, I don't know. SD man? Small dick man. Yeah, I'd be <laughs> like, what's man. going on with the pecker, dude? Like, what's happening? Like, or if he has an accent, I'd be like, oh, where are you from? Like, I would I would get to know him and then if he starts talking about what he's into and it goes into that, I'm like, oh, what do you do? Safe. That's cool, but like, LA is like, excuse me, hi. Uh, yeah. I noticed here you're wearing Versace. What are you doing for a living? Interesting. Yeah, but we know, but the thing that changes though is that we know that. Like, I exist in a swamp that I know is a swamp. Yeah. I exist under a sun that is a toxic LA sun that shines 24-7 yeah. no matter what. Well, 12-7, sorry, because it does go down at some point, but it's always shining. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I know that. I know what I'm fucking in. I yeah. know what I'm in is a toxic silicone infused hellhole of sex drugs and mayhem it's yeah. it's so I so yo that. as you guys know i moved to puerto rico yeah, and like and like that move was so good for me personally my mental health my energy my work everything and i get the stories from them being now yeah. moved from la and being very in la at one point noise chatter yeah, yeah, yeah. drama what do you mean that gossip. <laughs> No, no, hold up. You still live in LA. I'm not talking about you, you being involved in the scene. Even, even him is like he's he's removed, like sort of. Yeah. But but I but I hear I hear just what's yeah. just happening and. You say no, that, but you, you say that, but you also ask me a lot. You'll like ask me about it. About, so it's not see, complete. Is, you, I, I'll ask you what you're doing. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm interested in what you're doing because you're you're like you're in it, but nah, but, but you still also, have a. But you're also, from Connecticut, bro. Yes. You're like you you're not. But also, like at the same time, like. There, there, I said this on the uh, Gideon episode that we just did. There are ways to exist in that city without being a yeah, fa asshole. Fact. Like, yeah. bro, yeah, let, yeah, let's yeah. let's be honest, dude. From a from a actual place, LA is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it's the it's weather is insane. A lot of Beautiful. people are in it. The, uh, the it's, yeah. it, it might it might be one of the best places to live. If you subtract the scene, yes, yeah, it yeah, might yeah. be one of the best places to live. Like, and there's some other issues. Even there's the there's, people, tax, there's some problems with taxes right now. The government kind of is fucked up. But honestly, I think and I'm sure you guys will agree with this, I think as a society, we pay way too much attention to shit that really doesn't affect us yeah, as yeah. much as we say it does. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I pay 54% of my money to fucking taxes every That's year. That's 54% of every dollar I make goes to fucking taxes. I but, I'm not sit, but I'm not sitting there like... <laughs> no, but I'm not sitting there like, oh, damn, like, damn, I wish yes, I... Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I, <laughs> Cap, when's the last time you heard me complain about taxes? They said, yo, Just send now. X amount yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because there are some people <laughs> there are some people who won't go to a certain place because yeah. of the tax rate. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm not that type of person. So right. I'm what, 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 what's going on right now? What? what you, I just it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. I know it's not, I know it sounded like that, but it really doesn't. What are you doing? I'm just talking about. <laughs> I'm your boy. <laughs> We're friends. Logan. <laughs> Don't put another cap on. It has that. nothing to do with you. Cap. Yes, there are cap, people. Dude. <laughs> Look how many caps you're holding while you're capping. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? He's wearing wow. caps. Walking yeah. caps. Wow. I've never seen that before. <laughs> wearing a cap, holding caps. Manifest. So I mean, what's what's wearing fuck? What's good, dude? Like what? We're launching Prime. Yeah. In in Asda. Asda, bro. I didn't know this. I learned the other day. Asda is part of Walmart. Walmart. Walmart, yeah. right? Oh, that makes sense. I didn't yeah. know that. Uh, there's new Whoa. info to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you guys don't have a Walmart out here? No. no. Hold on. We, we, we have, have Asda. We have Asda, Tesco's, Asda. Sainsbury's, Co-op. Morrison's. Uh, Morrison's. Uh, then you got the Lidl. Budget one. You have Lidl. Lidl. Aldi. Aldi. Oh, Aldi we We're have. We're doing Asda and Tesco. Aldi's the shoes? I can't say Tesco. No, no, no. Grocery, <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Fine, we are. But yeah, Asda. Asda got some decent shit going on. Okay, good. Okay, that, good. Asda, right. George is Asda, right? Yeah, that's Asda George. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, they okay. have a clothing range called George. Be, yeah, Asda. You can get dripped out in some George. I don't think we I don't think we can do this, but this is a this is great fucking topics here. Uh <laughs> relate re regarding their thoughts on our our politics, guns and Trump. Can we ask it's you just, you want to go? Just, bro, you it's can. Just, you can. Yeah. Do we have yeah. the energy for this? Yes, you can. Okay. I just bought a gun. I, can I tell you how it works? 
It's really quick. Go ahead. Okay. Just as my transaction was, I just moved to Arizona. Yep. I went, here's my ID. They go, all right. <laughs> there yeah, you go. You, right. This is alien. That's fine. Why did right? you buy it? Uh, just to protect myself. And I'll give you the reason why. My mom has a, 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 a piece in her purse. Yep. My sister does. When we grew up. He knows how I shoot. I would go shooting every single day. Okay. And my dad taught me this is better to have it and not need it than need it and not have and it. And that's a very American thought process. Now, when, right. I, now when I talk to anyone, and yep. here's why I'm bringing it up, I love to hear the ideas of the rest of the world. Yeah, I'm hearing feedback too. It's fine. I love to hear the ideas of the rest of the world on this stuff. Okay. Because we get very siloed into our thought process. Yeah. It's my right. Yeah. It's my right to carry this gun <laughs> or, or, you know, I'd rather have it not. It was, we all say that. We've okay. said that since day one. We sit there and as people in other countries of the world, we look at you guys and we are dumbfounded. Yes. We are blown away yes. by your guys' situation yeah. to a point of almost humor. Okay. Like we are almost laughing yeah. at how you guys act from well, a, from a well, standpoint of- One thing to clear up is, right, London and the UK isn't much better. People get stabbed on a probably daily basis. Every yeah. night, every night. Happens. Happens. I mean. really, yeah, really quick, when, when's the last mass stabbing you had? Where, where, okay, no, where it's, thirty it's, people died. It's, okay, so it's Both hard. This one's about, it's, and it's also quite hard to mass stab people. hundred percent. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah. Have you had any school stabbings lately? Like where thirty not, kids got not, stabbed? No, no. Okay, yeah. So the the one thing, see our trip coming up in July, right? We were talking about doing like say. Cheap versus expensive or whatever, and like one team goes here and does it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it at the sheer risk. You saw the people live stream on Twitch with a GoPro of them mm. just they just roll up to shops mm. and just shoot people, right? Mm. Imagine say we're out filming. Yes, lads, all right, we've been given ten dollars. We have to go and get an outfit in the shop, and we just get shot. Hold on a second. It's nuts. No. Would you be as scared if you had your own gun to protect you? No, I don't think I ever want a gun. I don't think I ever want a gun. I don't. I don't want. I don't want the I weight of things. They're not nice. I, I just think of it this way, bro. Like, if say in Arizona they pass yeah. a law, you're like, you have to return your guns. I know, sadly, when I return my guns, criminals are not. No, but but here's what we were. Here's what I was talking about with the guy the other day. They they will say, and and by the way, I, I want to say this. I'm not I'm not anti gun. I don't think you seem I, I don't, like it. No, I'm not. I, I'm one thing. I'm let me let me talk. One thing I will say is that I'm I am anti. I think we need to dial back on ARs. Yeah. I really do. Yes. I think, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Like I've the, seen, the idea seen, of putting that level of- Don't warm up, of round, sell guns. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right? So yeah, as you, the don't. So this is what I'm saying, right? <laughs> that is sort of alien to me as well, is that you could roll up to say a Walmart and say, hey, I need that rifle. Right now. Like, like, right now. But, but, I, get, question, I, I, I can kind of understand a handgun or whatever. I can kind of understand it. But the fact you're you're whipping around with like, this is war-ready shit. For like, sure. You know what I'm saying? So, so why do you think that Americans are so obsessed with guns? I think it comes from a very long, long time ago. Yeah. I think it comes from a very, very long the time. Second, the, the creation yes. of the Second Amendment. Yeah. That, so, that is I think, and, and again, it's like the very... Okay, I'm not comparing these, but it's like the same way of like... We still... English people still live on, on some things like the, the man... Sh it, it, the man should be the one that takes care of his lady and stuff. Okay. These are all very old things, yeah. right? Yep. And this gun thing is sort of similar, right? It's, it's lived through so many generations mm. that you grow up thinking, yeah, That's I, just I should have is. a gun, That's right? how it should be. Like, like you said, like, your, your mom has a gun? So no, you've no, got... So the reason I have a gun is because I, I, my dad had stores in the ghetto. Okay. And so I had a gun pulled out on me. Yeah, okay. And when I didn't have anything to protect myself, I do, I watched my life go away. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so now when I see somebody reach out, dude, I've had to pull out my gun on somebody and take their gun away from them. I've yeah. done it three Fuck. times. Oh. And it's on camera. That's nuts. Let's explain so, the situation. You, you work at a, at a gas station in Arizona where there's... First of all, it's a liquor store. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Learn your ethnicity. <laughs> uh, and, uh, well, no, regardless, it's, it's, it's where it is. And by the way, one of the places was at a hookah bar. Don't yeah. be racist. It was... <laughs> uh, and it wasn't my hookah bar. It was my cousin's hookah bar. Yeah. And uh, I was there. And dude, it, it be, when you're there and there's bad people in the world, yeah. And I just, I'm living the times that I live in and people bear arms. So... Yeah. Yes, when my daughter is at the age where I could teach her, I'm teaching her how to shoot a gun. Here's, here's, here's the issue. Here's the issue. We are in a point right now, America, where it, is, where it is very hard to reverse engineer yeah, a say, problem yeah, that has gone. been yeah. hundreds yeah. of years in the making. You're too far gone. And it's the, it's the, like compound interest, right? Bingo. You've bingo. compounded. No, but, and no, the, the, the other issue is the Constitution is such a strong document to form a foundation for a, a, a country that exhibits amazing freedoms and, and rights for the people that live there. Yeah. But there's 
one thing in particular in that document that might maybe should have had a little asterisk next to it yeah. that, that, that accounted for today's day and age, which the founding fathers did not. This idea was built out for so many different reasons, for well-regulated militia, and more so to defend for our ability to defend ourselves from a tyrannical government. Yeah. I, That's I, 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 I.e. Great Britain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, we yeah. got out of that situation. The Red Coast. Wanted, you don't like correct, the Red Coast. We wanted our ability yeah. to defend ourselves. Yeah. So now you've got these guys in Arkansas with their AR 15s <laughs> thinking to themselves that when I have to rise up against the government, which has AC 130 gunships yeah. and F 15 bombers, <laughs> My that they're going to be the sitting, <laughs> homie, if the government wants you dead, yeah. you're, you're dead. You're going to die. It's over. Right? There's, no, die. there's no. So, so, here's, so here's the thing at, at play here. America has done a very good job of saying, well, this is where we're at. So, unfortunately, this is where we're at. Mm. Guns have one job. Kill so, people. Yeah. That kill. That's yeah. it. Kill animals. Yeah. Kill. Protect, wait. Protect. So, you can't put a. You but, can't put but, but in what way? In what way? By, your, by doing what? By doing what? By doing what? But by house. doing what? But no, listen. Yeah. Stop. No, but you protect by Just shooting, which will probably kill. Kill. No, you don't have to. I'll shoot you in the leg. So if I. It could no, that's not how we're trained. That's you don't train. Who are you trained by? The Navy SEALs? Who are you so trained by? You can protect by, by just no one, just pulling out. You're shooting in center yeah. mass. You're not. You can't not, just you can't just say anybody who has a gun is like the reason they have a gun is to kill people. It's not true. It's gun. To what is them. what is the the only job of a gun? But see, this, I will see, have a gun to protect. Not, no, hey, take see, you out. See, of it. The answer you is to neutralize. Neutralize. To neutralize. Like, okay. So now let me ask you a question. If the goal of AIDS is to neutralize. Do you guys think we should say the answer to AIDS is more AIDS? No. Okay. That is a weird. No, it's not. That's Let a, me stop. What the fuck? It's great. Mean? That's no, great. It's a great. Clip it up, please. Thank that you. is, because, that is because, phenomenal. Because our answer in America right now is that to stop gun violence, we need more guns. Okay. That's the answer. That's the answer. Now, now let me ask you this question: If where do you think bad people get guns? Robbers, thieves people like that from good people from good people, from good people. now when the good people now i'm not saying this isn't problematic and, I'm, and it sucks if i have to be one of the people that has to die yeah. so that in 30 years <laughs> kids at school don't have to worry about getting shot yeah there may be 10 years where there are some guns in the hands of good people or bad people and not good people yeah just like global warming people may have to suffer in the short term for the greater good of the country but eventually those guns will dry up in the hands of good people and bad people will have nowhere to get them from. That is my fucking thought. Now, once again, I, I'm not saying... A lot of guns come from... Other countries, though. This is what I, mean, I mean, that's like, the case. I don't there, know. There is a, world, there's a, there's a world China. corruption in the fact that, like, our government probably sells arms to XYZ sure. around the world, right? So, there's, like, world corruption on the front. We are putting arms in loads of different countries. All of us are. Absolutely. That's an issue. Absolutely. That's an issue. Oh, no, we're, we're putting more guns this in is, other countries yeah, than anybody. So, but again, I, I, I just feel like there's never, as a day-to-day -day normal person, right, I'm just here to live. If I was a US resident, I would never feel like I would need to have something that could end a life. I don't want the risk. I don't want the responsibility, responsibility to think, oh, I might have to end a life today. If something goes south, I might have to end a life. But I feel like the only reason you're, is again, it's compounded from so many decades and years, right? The only way you, 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 you're thinking, I may have to end a life today to protect myself is because it's happened for so many, like it's happened for so many years. I agree. It's nuts. So when when the Constitution was being written, listen, they had muskets, bro. Yeah. Try to shoot anything with the a musket. The fucking bayonet on the end. That's yeah. what, but yeah. here's where we're at today. We're not with muskets anymore. No. I think there's two things that's in my mind when I when we talk about these things. One is what I said before. We're not going to remove guns from bad people. Like the guy's not going to be like, oh look, hey, the government Better says give, give it guns. back. I'm gonna give it back. Two. I think we need a better job for sure when it comes to getting a gun. I don't think you can you have to be 25 to rent a car but 18 to get a gun. That's, That's fucking crazy. weird. That's backwards. That's weird. Really, so really I think backwards. there should be like a test, a schooling. Harder, harder background checks, regulations on automatic rifles or mm -hmm. uh, assault rifles, yes. ARs I specifically. Agree. Um um, um, uh, buy, buybacks, buybacks for ARs and ban ban certain weapons with uh, um, uh, a chamber that uh, exceeds a certain capacity. And I want exactly. to say, and I want to say, say that say this kind of stuff thing? and red and red flag legislation be, really quickly. I, I'm, we're having a we're having a theoretical conversation here. I am, I don't want them to take all the fucking guns. That's ridiculous. I'm uh -huh. not fucking saying that. Yeah. But there is simple 
what I really truly believe to be common sense reform that is ready to be signed into fucking legislation right now yeah. that is simply being blocked by people who have financial gains to be made by those being blocked. That's, oh, that's, yeah, what, I'm, that's what I'm yeah. fucking getting. Right. There's modifiers as well, right? I think yeah, with, yeah. With, with generations now where it's so easy to say... So easy to... If you say you have a mental illness or something, it's, it's very easy to uh, want attention. And, and people that are wired differently now want attention by shooting schools. That's, shooting that, that, that would be another solution. You need, yeah, the like, media needs to be very strictly controlled when yes. these things happen so yes. that the shooter gets uh, or the perpetrator gets absolutely yeah. zero like fucking any, recognition. Yeah, anytime someone wants attention now, it's I'm going to do it on the internet, right? And, and it goes to the extremes of if I want to really make a point, like recently the, the guy that done the racist attack on the right uh -huh. his his initial thought was i'm going to go to and shoot shoot black people on the internet right so i feel like that's a major issue as well like we're saying like the, the everyone needs to be so much more in control of this shit because people's first thought is if i want to do a hate attack or something i'm going to broadcast it and that's fucked the but problem is so much that's fucked it's so but. much bigger than just get rid of guns 100% yeah yeah no and, and make no mistake the the number one issue that we do face is a is a mental illness pro problem yeah, yeah. and i'm and i'm not saying that should subtract from the fact that we need to figure out the gun situation i think, I think it goes because hand in hand with like it, an evolution of, of yeah. humanity well well because the gun solution is legisl is legislation that could be quick act that we could actually put in place in the next six months. Just a the mental town. illness, the mental illness problem. We got decades ahead of yeah, us yeah, of yeah. trying to fight this situ it, this situation, but it's massive, and the issue that is stopping solutions from coming down on all of these issues is a, a very specific type of American greed. That is number one. Mental illness is not solved because Lexapro sells millions of dollars worth of Lexapro to stop mental to to treat mental illness, not mm -hmm. solve it. Guns bring millions of dollars into people's pockets. Mm -hmm. McDonald's brings millions of dollars into people's pockets. So, how, so heart disease will not stop. Yeah. This is greed. The number one issue is greed. Yeah. Well, that's and that I don't know stop, how. Dude. Well, no, it's not that. that I'm not saying it's going to stop. I'm just saying that is the core fucking issue. If you look at any one of these things, the reasons why legislation is not passed is because these motherfucking senators are eating off of these companies. Yeah. Our government is owned. Mm -hmm. Our government is not free. We don't have a free government that votes on things. They are owned by corporations. The problem is compounded in a way where like now people are preparing for the people yes, who are right? preparing for the... It's almost problem. like... Yeah. Guys, in our defense, our LA was going... Is, is crazy right no, now. No, I know. So, so I do think there are some, some, there's got to be something we can fucking do. No, I, true, but listen, I'm not going around telling... First of all, this is probably the first time I ever brought yeah. to have a gun. I don't broadcast it. I'm not out here being like, yeah, I'm fucking badass. I'm yeah. posting anything. That's, that's, it. Yeah, that's I, I truly, about. truly, with all of my heart, I only have it to protect me and my family. Yeah. That's it. That's the only reason why. I'm not bragging. I'm not making music videos holding it up. Mm. It has nothing to like, do with that, bro. If so, I pull out my gun, God forbid, I'm shooting you. This that could, is the worst case scenario. This could be like really stupid to say, right? But see how you've got 6,000 rounds, right? And you're saying... If there was something that said, I could, this is a protection handgun, right? And it's loaded with one or two bullets. That's all you get, right? Your one to two bullets is a protection handgun, right? Yep. And say you do eventually have to use it, right? You go to a specific body and you say, this is the situation. It's been passed by the police and everything like that. I've used my round. I've used, you have to submit what, it. That's why I asked. Yeah, but like you have to submit it and say, listen, look, I used my round because this situation Man, happened. When, when you've, so when like you've seen like the the, not, the the types of riots and stuff that are happening, especially in LA where like these guys lived and I lived at the time, yeah. it's fucking scary, bro. Like, it's terrible. Yeah. And, and, that's, and even, that's why I asked him, but he's... he's even like, LA he's now, man, these, 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 the way these you're people saying, don't come in, in yeah, ones. They okay. come in threes, they come yeah. in fours. It's just, it don't make sense to me that it's like when you speak about it, you're like preparing for like The Walking Dead. This is what it feels like. It's like, it's so outside the box to me that you're doing this for just other people. Which is why you're this conversation this is, is, is interesting. It blows my mind that you are preparing for other humans, not like the well, world dude, ending. Evil exists, man. Evil exists, no so, doubt. So yeah. how am I supposed to walk around? Comp Listen, I, I don't... Trust, man. I if I can live Trust. in a world where I don't have need to have it, a, yeah. awesome. Yeah. But bro, like, I'm watching these terrible news happen and I mm. just don't want to be on the news on a, as a dead man. Like, I, I want okay. to protect myself. On a day-to-day -day basis, I, I would say that I, like, even when people say, oh, people say they don't believe that we walk around in London or whatever, which is true. You, it, uh, horrible things happen in London, but I live my life on a day-to-day -day basis that I trust that the human race 
will just treat me as a human. That's how I want to. I don't. I don't want to be so pressured. I like. Into, I, li I like. What about I, the kids that yeah, trusted yeah. that That's they the thing. to go to school? But again, or like, again, not everyone's like, not everyone's wired to think. Ah, uh, really hope that the human race treats me as I treat the human race. I'm, today. I'm unwilling to be that vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's too much that's, evil. That's Do you bold, think that's going to change bold. when you have your kid? Yeah, for With, without a doubt. Protect. Without without a doubt, I think my views will change 100 percent because at that point. I have to care for myself in a different way because I've got to preserve myself to take care of that person now, right? If you had to move to LA right now, absolutely. God, no, no, you have to. God I have to, bro. Right, okay. okay. You have to move to LA with your daughter. Yeah. And when you move in, the guy goes, "Listen, the neighborhood's rough. You're shooting all the time. Do you want to buy a gun before I leave? Last chance. Would you want something to protect your family?" I still wouldn't. Still wouldn't take it. Again, Would I feel. He I don't think his daughter is a shield. Fuck's <laughs> 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 sake. It's, it's fucking hard, man. Again, because I, I haven't lived in a world where I literally, I, I don't know what that feeling, you know how like the feeling inside you when the stuff's going on outside, right? Yeah. I will, I've not experienced that. So I don't know what that actually feels like. I don't, feel, I don't feel that chemical thing in my brain where I feel like, shit, this is about to happen, right? I need this, yeah. So, so the fact, even your theoretical situation you're pointing to me, I can't fully understand. Because in my head, again, like I said, I would trust that the world would see me caring for my daughter and just think, Leave my we're phone. humans, yeah. man. We're humans. At the end of the yeah, day, I wish but again, be like, a, yeah, this is this, that's but, beautiful. That's a yeah. good answer. A really I was good answer. I was 11 or 13 when I had a gun pulled at me the first time. Yeah, uh, again, and he, he robs me. And he was shaking too. That's what scared me. So yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. fuck. What if he like shakes? Well, this is what I think, right? So if I had a gun and someone pulls out a gun on me, I'm not gonna be able to pull out. They're gonna shoot you if you. Have uh, that whole, the whole gun, good gun, beating bad gun thing, I think is a lot less likely than people. Mm. I mean, Same bro, with, they, they, hold they, on, hold they, on. That's that they, doesn't. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. There was like, like there was like, like it takes 10 a years. guy with a good gun to, <laughs> bro. All you see is these mass shootings. Yeah. There, by the way. There's officers bro, of there's the law. Officers of the, the law waiting and there's a person to, to in not there do anything. Blowing people. And bro, by the way, like if so, it, um, the, I'm not saying like don't give yourself a chance. I am, I totally believe in gun, responsible gun ownership. Yeah. I really do. I'm going back to that right now. Give yourself the fucking chance responsibly. Background check, mental yeah, health, yeah. restrictions on on capacity, all that shit. But the the. the idea of that defense happening is just very it, it you just yeah. don't see it happens all, by the way i'm not saying it doesn't happen wait, there's wait, tons of it, about, there's tons of there's, instances of there, it there's but so many incidents no there's, if there's, you go on if you go online right now and you just type in compilation of people saving their lives from having a firearm you tons, find but what i'm millions. billions but if you found millions and you wouldn't obviously find millions but if but you, you would find, find millions you wouldn't find millions but if you found hundreds you would you could find a billion of person wasn't able to pull out gun fast enough and got killed trying. i think it's more like you like, save like, someone bro, it's else not, with a gun it's, than save yourself but like if you had one in your house like you wouldn't be in the situation you'd witness the situation and stop it with your gun rather than someone pulling a gun on you and, and you pulling your gun on them. that's what happens. So, like, for example, in Arizona, there's many cases where somebody would come in and shoot and the other person next we'll to them would shoot them dead. Yeah, for yeah, sure. That's well, for sure. Saying. So that stopped the person from killing all these yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I'm just saying, it's let, it's it, there's more instances of that not happening is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? There are True, guys, listen, it. like, again, I, I get it. I, I, I understand why you're so passionate. Listen, like, when I hear these stories, the first thing I think of is, man, I really hope we don't get numb to this. No, no, we are. That's we are. why we're having no, and I pray and I we're pray we don't come to it because because nothing happens, bro. I was ten minutes from New Newtown, fifteen minutes when those kids got killed at Sandy Hook, like right there. Little kids getting fucking mowed down, bro, by fucking uh, downrange war ready fucking rifles. Little fucking kids. It ruined me. And then ten years later, it still happened. Nothing changed. Nothing fucking changed. And that, if that doesn't bother you to your core as an American, I feel bad for you. I feel very fucking sorry for you as a human, as a fucking human. Well, it's been, a good, it's been a good podcast, guys. Thanks common sense. Let's get some common sense. That's it. That's it. That's what a again. fiery note to end on, dude. Oh, my well, God. Well, then let's not. Let's, what, no, 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 no. Well. What do you got? Got some happy no, shit to end no. on? I ain't got shit. I think that you ruined it. You ruined every. Oh, I, I, I felt like we were on such a good vibe, and he's like, you know what you're talking about? <laughs> People dying. What, else, what well, else is on the list? It is, I will say this. What else is on the list you, that we can quickly how, go through? How the UK well, views American let's, politics. Let's change, uh, the, let's change the, the vibe. Yeah. Uh, so, Simon, uh, is it true you have a yellow belt in karate? <laughs> oh, what a shit, Tom. Why stop at yellow? Is that true? Why stop at yellow? No. 
<laughs> no, it's not true. I did the beginner lesson. Please don't tell me. You've just made that up, right? Yeah. No, it was on our PDF. Fuck no, off. We, like, what? Why? So that's no, out there not. somewhere on the internet. That no, it's not. No, I don't. No. It is. That was on our PDF. That's not on your PDF. Yeah, no. The, that's on your phone. Yeah. I went yeah. To the, you know, like the first lesson. <laughs> uh, that, that. Is, that is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that's really fucking funny. I had five lessons. What is this? this? If iPhones and Androids go away, what's the future of social media? Dylan, <laughs> sometimes he puts his own personal questions on the PDFs for the guys. Do you, all have, you all have iPhones, right? Let's, yeah. let's end on this, right? iPhones? Yeah. yeah. Well done. We are fucking consumers and I love that from all of you. Because Apple this Android, this Android, this fucking Android shit, I hate it. Okay, go, I okay, fucking go, hate it, man. Go, 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 go. I thought, bro, I, I was about to spaz on you. Oh, no, no. Oh, can't say that. What does spaz mean in the UK? <laughs> it's a, it's yeah, a shortening it's for spastic. Spastic, yes. Fine. Spastic. Fine. Seems like something that's fine to you, say. No, no, no. I wouldn't go around saying spastic a lot. No. Why? No, no, no. We. we I think their meaning for spaz is a little bit different. Like it is. Okay. Y so yours is you yours can... is spaz double Z, right? You're, yes, you're yeah, spaz yeah, or something. Yes. Yo, he's spazzing. He's going crazy. He's yeah. He's wild. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why we're talking about this? No. So Lizzo just got or recently got canceled for spaz. Quote unquote canceled because in one. It's a double Z. It means two Z's. Double two Z. Z's. Uh, double Z. Double Z. So so so. Uh, mm -hmm. She got canceled because in one of her songs she said, I'm a spaz. People have been saying that. Bro, there's yeah, been rap songs yeah, like, I'm a spaz. Nah, but you can't cancel rappers. True, they don't care. Well, I don't know what yeah, she did. Okay. Well, I don't know what she did. Issued an apology and changed the song. See, this changed is the, the lyrics. This is, this is the, the issue song. with being canceled, right? Some people just fold over something like that. Yeah, that, Logan. That. <laughs> 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 hey man, why don't you fucking back your own corner on that one, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Can you imagine? But like, see, like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a good old <laughs> See how trivial that is, right? Yeah. When someone folds so quickly over something so trivial, what the fuck it are you doing? It justifies it. I mean, what yeah, the fuck yeah. are you doing? You're giving these, these snowflake humans the fucking mountain to stand on. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Just do your lyric and enjoy it. Perform it. Maybe George is right. Are we just fucked? Should we all, like, are we done? Wait, what we... did I just walk in on? What am I right? Well, no, I, wait, talk... hold on. I agree I'm right. We're talking about... Oh, what are we talking about? We're going back to penis size. Like, are we just doomed? Like, should we just wash it? The crypto's I, no, done. I think America's the done. world's fucked right now. Like, Been done, inflation's bro. fucked. The uh, governments are fucked. Humans are fucked. We're in, a, fucked. we're in a very bad place as a human race. Awful place. I, I'm just... This is, my, <laughs> this is my thoughts on it. Like, I hate <laughs> saying that we're fucked because I feel like we're just speaking that more into existence. I get I think, that. I think we need to just start... Coming up with solutions and stop being fucking whiny. There's pieces a great, about it. there's a great reset coming. Yeah, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, let's just think about. There's a great, there's a great I, reset I, coming. I, I, I agree and I, with Mike's uh, points of views, and yeah. I, I hope you can see from my point of view. I do. I do. Let's sit at a table yeah. and discuss this like adults. If we want to get working on the gun laws or lyrics or whatever, what we gotta stop doing is be like, "You're absolutely wrong. Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> correct. Yeah. Correct. What is happening? There's a reset what? coming, and I think it might be. It's either the kids we will have at this age or our kids' kids. I think that's when the reset will happen because I think they would have seen, we're yet to see all the effects of what this online world and everything we're doing we're has on the so, human race, yeah. right? We're yet to see the final product of like, say when this chews up and spits us out at 45, what happens to us then, right? Yep. We're yet to see that. No one knows what that exists. No one knows what exists. Yep. One, thing, one thing for sure that I think we all take away from this episode is it hurts us when we take sides we win together as teams. I said earlier, a we is always better than not. A we is always better yeah, than not. So when yep, we, yep. like George just said, could come together and sit down and be like, yo, listen, we know you want this and we understand why and we're willing to do this and you could, if you're willing to do this, that is when we'll win. Bro, it's mm. all about empathy. Communication is key. Yeah. Empathy. See, oh, look, look at us talking about values now. This is good. Yeah. I like that. That's a nice place. No, I, I love having conversations. I, I just hate when people... You know when you have a conversation with somebody, you can tell they're not listening to you. They're just That's trying to think saying. about what they want to say next. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's tough. So, like, I really just want... I, I don't... I ever want to be the type of person to be like, we're fucked. Our government's fucked. Our people's yeah. fucked. We have beautiful people. We have a beautiful country. My parents almost risked their whole entire life coming to this country. Yeah. Not this country. My country. Yeah, yeah, country. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. And so, like, it's very beautiful. When, and when my... I said it one time when I was a kid. I've said this on Impulsive before, but... My dad came to me and he goes, listen, don't talk ill about your country. Mm. He goes, stand up for it. Yeah. Roll up your sleeves, get to work. If there's a problem that you find, find a solution for that problem. Yeah, for sure. Don't just sit there and be like, we're fucked. And just like, you know what yeah. I mean? We say that way too much. We do. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I say that I every just day. I, just I say it's I, funny. I just think it's funny. I'm this sorry. is what I mean. I, again, like I said, when I got here, like, I'm just existing, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. existing. I don't really think that... Anything I say in the grand scheme, I'm on this earth for a window, right? This small window that I'm on earth, realistically, 
I'm existing in the best way I can. I'm trusting everyone around me to do right by me. That's just how I'm going to live. Mm -hmm. But the, the world isn't going to do that. And if I worry too much about it, I'm going to ruin my window on this uh -huh. planet. Uh -huh. And I don't want to ruin my window on this planet. Yeah. So I'm just going to do what I want. And you're not just existing. When you tell your story... You help people when he tells his story, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. everybody here has found a way to infuse some level of value, whether it's fucking addiction, weight loss, Jesus, getting through hard times, like whatever the fuck, dude. You know, so like all of us are doing something. I think we we deserve some level of. Uh, oh. I actually was talking to Kevin a round this. of applause or some shit. We, I don't fucking know. we were having a dinner yesterday, and I turned to him and I go, "You know what? I'll never get uh, like sick of, or like I'll never get used to it, is that I wake up every single day and create." Like some type of art with group of friends. Yeah. And not only does the world like kind of take it, but I get paid for it. Yeah. Like yeah. I lay in these hotel rooms. I yeah, get to yeah, sit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life's amazing, with George. You. <laughs> for those of you listening at home, <laughs> hopefully your life isn't as shit as George is painting it out to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to this episode of Impulsive. Sidemen. Can I join your guys? Ethan. <laughs> Kobe. I Sidemen. fucking hate my team so much. Can I just come over there? Stop. I'll, I'll get the accent going on and everything. <laughs> no, because then there wouldn't be a majority vote. Yeah, you fuck I'll, it I'll up. I'll do it. I'll just, whatever you guys go with. I won't even have a vote. I don't have a vote here. Why do I have, to have a vote there? <laughs> Bro, because he doesn't help with creative. We I'm, put him in the creative chat. He's like, I'm not good at titles anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when I make up a thing, they go, shut the fuck up, George, you fucking <laughs> cocksucker. You gun-loving Jesus fuck. I was like, whoa, whoa, what happened? You, bro, Jesus... didn't have a gun. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. No, for real. For real, thanks. Pleasure, no, man. Thank you for having fun. Me. Fun. Fun. Good chat. All right, guys, we'll do this again. Uh, uh, stay tuned for the Sidemen X Impulsive video coming in July in LA. Mm. It's going to be fun. Man. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, subscribing. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed. We'll see you next time. Peace.